Ano ba ang kwan? Ano ba yung rule dyan ngayon nila? Na pasta 65, hindi ka na pwede lumabas? Oo, tapos ang 12 to 17 below, hindi rin pwede lumabas. Pero kung mapabakuna ka, wala ba ako? <laughs> Di ba ka 32? Uh, yun nga ang napapuna ko dyan sa mga argumento sa bakuna. Uh, halo-halo na ang lahat ng tao nag-argue against the bakuna. No. Basta ako, ang position ko lang dyan, ayaw ko lang ng mandatory vaccination. Oh. Yan nga. Pero bahala ang tao kung gusto niyang magpabaksin uh, o ano. Ako yan din. Ito naman ang posisyon mo dyan. Kasi, Pero minsan, nakikita kayo mga argumento dyan sa gising maharlika. Kasama na yung mga religious fanatic na yan daw ay satanas. Yung 666 mga kung ano. Kaya isasalba na tayo ni Jesus Christ. Darating na si Jesus Christ. Yan ang presumption nila. Presumption lang yan. Wala naman nakakita. Kaya 666. <laughs> o, oh, yun ang nga ang sinasabi ko. Kaya nga ako, sinasabi ko, kinaklaro ko lang na hanggang doon lang ako sa uh, ayaw ko ng mandatory uh, vaccination because that is uh, that is a violation of our constitutional rights. Uh, ito akin, eh, naglagay ako ng sulat sa labas. No. To violation of the constitution. Mandatory vaccination. No to RA 11.5.5. Kasi sa 11.5.5 sinasabi doon, sa government, wala nga pananagutan. Tapos ang nag-bakuna, wala rin pananagutan. Ay, mag- so, mag- ikaw, uh, ikaw, Carlo, iway, kumusta doon sa Cagayan de Oro? Ano nangyayari dyan? Tulog, Carlo. Tulog pa ito sa... Uh, <laughs> tulog. Eh, <laughs> no, no, Carlo. Gusto <laughs> niya, ingay ka. Gusto mo palagi taas kamay. Ano ba? Hindi ka sumasagot ngayon. Tulog pa nga. Ano? Wala nga. Okay. Uh, Si Michael, uh, uh, na tayo. si Michael, uh, kanina yan, pag, uh, pag uh, tulog ko, launa yung media, yan na si Michael. Eh. Ano, Mel, nakakuan na tayo, nakaka-recording na tayo, mukhang uh, hindi pa, di ba? Recording na ba? Recording na? Yeah. Recording na daw. Okay. Hindi, huwag mo na. Hindi, okay na. Pwede na mag-record ah. kasi, 8, 8 o'clock na eh. Okay, sige. Recording in progress. Okay. All right. So, uh, ano yung mga balita dyan sa Cagayan de Oro, Mr. Carlo Iway? Hello. Ito naman dito, kaya chismisan mo na tayo. Are you awake? Patulog pa yan. Anyway, anong impact dyan nung uh, itong mga hearing ng Senado? Anong nangyayari dyan? Ah, hmm. Alam mo naman, puro lang sa kanila yan. Eh. Eh, sabi ni Lakson, uh, magtakbo sila President. Suto dahil baguhin nila. Bakit? Hindi nila nabago nung uh, panahon nila. Tagal-tagal sila sa Senado. Hindi nila naisip baguhin nun yan. Ngayon lang nila naisip. 
So, ni isang politiko walang uh, nagsasabi tungkol sa ano uh, to ng uh, sistema ng uh, lockdown na ito. So, medyo may kahirapan o nawain gawa na ano ba talaga ang mga gusto na ninyo mangyari. So, may mga kaka na dahil walang uh, dahil may uh, proclamation na sa 20, 22 September pa matanggal ang ano uh, matapos pala ang uh, ano ni Duterte uh, ano para tawag niya kanyang mandato hanggang June 30 hindi hindi the emergency hindi na uh, So, hindi malaman kung magkaroon ng injection to. Dahil if you're under control up to September 22 dito, ano nga magagalaw? September 12, 2022. Oo. Kumusta, kumusta mo natin? May bago tayong kasama si Sosail Edesma. Uh, Sosail, uh, can you introduce yourself? Ito po yung 1899 Congress. We are uh, reviving the uh, spirit of the 1899 Constitution and our advocacy is a shift to Parliament <laughs> as a way to curb corruption. Uh, can you introduce yourself, uh, Mr. Ledesma? Sosail Ledesma. I see him in a picture with a uniform. I think it's a Marine. Kasama mo ba siya? Hindi. Hindi, hindi. Pero yes, may mga... He has a marine uh, uniform and a navy. Maybe he's an officer eh, of the navy. My... Sure. No, he is an engineer. Okay, He has All a popular right. initial word. Okay, hindi naman siya nagsasalita. Uh, maybe he just well, wants to ma. observe right now. Huh? Can, can you introduce yourself? Ano mo si Mar? Ladies ma? Marlisma is uh, a instructor noon sa ano, profound master instructor ko sa simulator. Uh, yes. Hello sir. Uh, I just only want to listen. Uh, ano ka? Okay, Mr. Desma. Marine engineer okay. din. Yes sir. Si Mar si Mar ano mo? Marlis. Uh, hindi ko kilala sir. Hello hello. Hindi ko kilala. Para mi hello ka rin. Eh uh, dati sir. Ah. Not, hindi talaga uh, tumira lang ako okay I just only to listen okay so yeah, okay thank you uh, we are uh, a group that uh, are uh, advocating a change for a uh, system change in the country because we believe that the answer to systemic corruption is uh, systemic vigilance which a parliamentary system provides in their uh, weekly question hour ngayon, ang session talaga ngayong araw na to is about uh, how to reach out to more of the people, how we can uh, provide that message to them. And also answering questions of uh, those who are with us, kung ano pa ba yung mga iba nilang mga katanungan tungkol sa ating parliamentary shift campaign. Yung isa naming uh, paraan para magkaroon ng shift sa parlamento ay ang pag-adapt ng ating 1899 constitution. Uh, yung ating pangalan dito sa grupo natin are 1899 uh, Congress, 1899 Shadow Congress. Meron din tayong Facebook uh, group na Shadow Congress of the Philippines that anybody can join there and uh, look at the recordings of uh, the hearings that we have. Although sometimes there are just a few of us here in the session, there are more people connected to us because this is being streamed to other groups and other uh, uh, platforms as well. Naka-stream ba tayo ngayon na uh, Mr. Speaker sa pan sa GMN Network? GM hmm. Net. No. Ha? No. Kuna ito, GM means Gorilla Makapagal Network. Ah, <laughs> uh, may issue dito dahil sabi na huwag gamitin ang Gising Marlika. So okay. Global Marlika kung ayaw mo ang uh, Gising Marlika. We didn't gamit din okay. ginoong maginoo noon. <laughs> ha? Oh. Okay. Ngayon, ano ka kung problema nyo sa GMN? Kasi yung text nila ko na kanila daw yan. Sino may sabi? 
Puntahan mo ako doon ng DTI kung uh, marali ka ang naka-register doon, GMN lang. So nasa iyo yan kung ano pag-intindi mo ng GMN. So ito may mix sila. Nung nga grupo ni Nigel, yun ang nag-question na... Sino ang nag-text sa'yo? Sino ang nag-communicate sa'yo personally? Nung nga grupo nila. Yung text nila ko. Sino nga? Sino nag-text sa'yo? Si Rob? Ano pakialam mo ako dyan? Inyo yan. Kung ano, hanggang nga si Ka Anton, yun na palabasan nila. Sabi ni Ka Anton, programa ko, huwag nyo pasokan na ganyan. Iba ang pinag-usapan dito kaysa inyo. Ito may make dito lang. Kaibigan mo ba si Ka Anton? May program siya dito sa GMN. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kaya sabi ko nga na kung uh, ano, dahil uh, magaling din yan doon sa mga historical point of view, if we could make another day na uh, pag-usapan natin ang history ng Pilipinas para makakarinig naman ay hindi mag... Uh, ano ba yung 1899 pinag-usapan nila? Mm. Kasi kung may programa tayo sa kahit isang oras lang, once a week, ma-disseminate natin ang information uh, with regards to the, pre, the previous uh, governance of the Republic of the Philippines. Before uh, Spanish, hanggang nagkaroon ng Spanish, kasi nung before Spanish, uh, open naman lahat eh. Hindi naman ganito. Winala lang ng mga Kastila ang ating uh, historia. Mabuti, mayroon pang uh, copper plate. Kaya doon sa copper plate na yan, hindi nila mabura-bura yan. Na bago sila dumating, may, may mga litra na tayo. Nakakasulat ng Pilipino. Pero kung so, iba-ibang wala... tawag, iba tawag sa atin noon, meron tayong mga area ng uh, interaction individually with the country of China. Mm. May panahon na ang Luzon ay sakop ng China. At mayroon pinapadalang mga naval ship sila doon, pero hindi naman nagtagal yun. Uh, mayroon tayong separate uh, noong mga 14th uh, century, uh, tinatag yung Sultanate of Sulu. Earlier than that, mayroong city of Butuan na nagpapadala ng mga embahada papuntang uh, uh, China. Mm. At uh, pag sinasabing uh, magbibigay ng tribute sa China, yung China naman nagbibigay ng gift sa atin. So parang ngayon ang kanilang pag-trade nung araw kasi wala namang mga pera-pera noon eh. Barter, barter. Parang barter. Bigyan mo ng tribute ang Empire of China. Sabihin ng China, oh, magaling kayo, we will protect you. Tapos ito ang gift nyo, uwi na kayo. Something like that. Ah, ito may bago tayo. Uh, it is uh, very iPhone. interesting. Mr. iPhone, pwede ka magpa mag-introduce kung... Uh, Ano pangalan mo, iPhone? Ah, ah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Enrico. I'm Enrico Merio. Thank you. Yun na nga. Ah. I'm Enrico nga ito. Pinanang kami yung balbas ni Enrico. Hindi ko nang nakikilala. Hindi na nag-aahit. <laughs> Akin, nahit ko na nung matapos June 12. Okay. Ang uh, gusto kong gawin ngayon, Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I will share the uh, postings I've been making kasi ang ating topic po ngayon is uh, how to reach out to more people and talk about our campaign. Mm. Kasi yung ating ginagawa ngayon is uh, a parliamentary shift campaign and uh, from our point of view, the uh, the other campaign... No, uh, Good morning, Paul. Okay. 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 In uh, what I have been posting, so that we can discuss it from there, and we can find out uh, how we can uh, make this uh, messaging uh, type uh, reach out to a lot of people. No. <clears throat> okay, go so, ahead. Uh, let me see. I'm uh, sharing my screen. Uh, share now, and so um, let me go.
Yeah, let me uh, go to my Facebook area. You're seeing my Facebook area now? Mm. Yeah. This is my Facebook area here. And uh, I, don't know, I just want to share my uh, Facebook area. It is uh, not sharing. No, Anna, what about more? Anna? No. Okay. And yeah, then. like for instance, I uh, I, I uh, do something here and say the parliamentary campaign exposes uh, holier than thou campaigns as uh, bogus presidential campaigns. Mm. The system change style. So, like that, that messaging is there. And what campaigns am I referring to? I'm referring to the present presidential campaign because everybody now is interested in who will be president. But I'm saying that all, uh, all presidential campaigns that do not focus or do not mention system change are bogus presidential campaigns. Mm. And I call them uh, holier than thou campaigns because ang sinasabi ng bawat kandidato, mas mabait ako at mas magaling kisa sa iba. Hindi ako magkukurap. Ang pipiliin ko mga tao ay mababait din. Pareho ko. Kaya namin uh, hintuin yung corruption na yan. Eh, holier than thou, ibig sabihin, compared sa ibang kandidato, sila ay mas mabait. Itong uh, kandidatura ni Lalakson at saka ni Soto, nagkwan sila eh. Nagsabi sila na ganun, mababait sila, mas magagaling sila. May karanasan sila. Meron pa silang symbol, KKK, parang alluding to the revolution ng 1899. Pero wala namang sinabi tungkol sa 1899 Constitution. Correct. Si Kwan, itong si uh, Soto nagbanggit ng system change. Pero nang interviewin siya ng isang araw tungkol dun sa sinasabi niyang pagbabago ng sistema, ang sabi niya, and there, as, uh, itong sistema natin, hindi tayo pwedeng pumunta sa parliament. Mag, uh, itong sistema natin ngayon, okay na, ayusin lang natin to. So wala. He walked back his talk about uh, system change. So uh, these people are not uh, accustomed to talking about uh, uh, system change. And they say, hey, uh, pag naging presidente na sila, yung kahit nagsalita sila ng system change, ang nangyari, katulad kay Duterte, sabi niya, tunay na pagbabago, system change. Pero nang nasa pwesto na siya, ay walang nangyari. Uh, noong una, yung first half niya, ng kampanya niya, magaling-galing ang kanyang banat, parang... Uh, tinutokso pa niyang bayan na mag-revgob siya. Noong November 30, 2017, ang lakas-lakas ng uh, demand para siya ay mag-revgob. Pero wala rin, hindi naman niya ginamit yun kasi ang mga tao sa kanyang uh, paligid ay mga laban sa pag-shift ng sistema kasi ang sabi nila, teka muna, hawak na natin sistema ito. Makinabang muna tayo bago natin baguhin ito. Hmm. Ano nga rin, naniwala si Duterte sa kanila yung mga senador naman, ayaw naman palitan ng sistema kasi sistema, na na, sistema natin ngayon, 24 nga lang naman sila. Kasi noong pang uh, 1916, 24 na sila eh. Noong 1916, mayroon tayong sinasabing uh, 12 senatorial districts. At saka mayroon doong senior uh, senator at saka mayroong junior senator. Yung senior senator, mahabang termino, yung junior senator, mapan lang, parang kalahati lang ng termino niya. Pero do, 12 yun sila, kaya isa, bawat isa sa kanila, mayroon tayong isang uh, dalawang senador kada 12, uh, kada district. So mayroon tayong 24. Noong 1916, ang ating uh, populasyon ay 9 million lamang. Ngayon, ang ating populasyon ay 110 million na, 24 pa rin itong mga senador. At ang nangyari ngayon, dahil sa sila ay elected uh, nationwide, pinalitan eh. Noon, distrito lang sila. No? At least may liderato sila sa bawat distrito nila. Pero ngayon, ginawang kwan, ginawang uh, nationwide ang kanilang pag-elect sa kanila. No? Kaya, anong nangyari? Ang uh, nangyari, naging mga tuta sila ng mga oligarko kasi kailangan nila ng malaking pera. Ang estimate, eh, 200 million minimum at para manalo, mga 500 million bawat isa. Saan, sila, saan nila kukunin ang perang yun? Either sa corruption nila, sa Senado, yung kanilang mga pork barrel, 
o sa mga oligarko na sponsors nila. Kaya sila yung nagiging tuta ng oligarko. At saka dahil sa ano, napakaliit o napakaliit nila comparable sa paglaki ng, uh, ng uh, House of Representatives. Kasi noong 1916, mga 125 ata yan, 119 yung mga House of Representatives. Ngayon, dahil malaki ng population natin at saka ang uso sa mga probinsya, pag magkakaaway ng mga dynastiya, eh, gigerimander nila ang district nila, hati-hati nila para do doon ka na lang sa district mo, dito tayo para pareho tayong congressman at pareho tayong makinabang sa pork barrel. Eh, dumami ng dumami mga district natin, kaya ngayon ay uh, I think pati na ang mga party list, mga 300 plus na tayo, 307 congressmen. So, dami-dami nila ang ginagawang committee para magkaroon sila. Alam mo sa Congress, pag may committee ka, kasi sila may hawak ng budget, may additional allowances, additional budget sa committee mo, mas marami kang hawak na committee, ay mas marami kang chairmanship, mas marami yung pera mo. Kaya napakadami niyan. So ngayon, since ang process ng paggawa ng batas sa atin ay uh, bicameral, dadaan sa Congress, pupunta sa, pupunta sa Senado, eh 24 lang ang senador natin. Kaya eh, pagdating doon sa mga iba-ibang batas na dapat uh, iba'y camera session nila, pati mga senador na oposisyon, eh, may chairmanship pa rin. So kalokohan na yan. Wala nang linya between the opposition and the administration. Kasi lahat ng senador, kahit na nasa oposisyon ka, dahil sa dami ng trabaho ang dapat sa higanuhin, dahil sa napakalakina ng kongreso, ay eh, meron ka pa rin chairmanship. Kaya mga oligarko, hindi sila takot tumaya sa senador na pwedeng manalo. Kasi kahit na opposition pa yan, pagdating sa kongreso, marami pa rin niyang ahawakang uh, komite, chairmanship sa senado, at doon sila kikita ng pera sa mga kontrata makukuha nila through those komite so chairmanship sa influensya ng senador na kanilang uh, alaga. So we have a system that is really uh, at, um, amenable or easily manipulated by the oligarchy that controls our country. So it's part of a what I call a president a rotten presidential system, and that rotten presidential system is uh, which I describe in uh, my uh, postings. Uh, is like a car, no? A car, rotten car, na sira sira na ang steering wheel ay nakafix dahil sa yung direction lang ng oligarch ang nakatutok ang steering wheel ngayon. At saka walang question hour, kahit na inang ilang mga investigation nyo dyan, it will just die in committee, kaya walang anti-corruption breaks. Walang breaks. The, uh, the break to uh, stop corruption does not work in that car because uh, the rotten presidential system uh, supports it. Yung mga oligarko, may mga galamay sila sa mga justices, sa mga hukom natin, may mga galamay sila sa military at saka sa PNP to protect themselves at ayan ay uh, patuloy na patuloy na ginagawa nila so in effect our country is uh, an oligarchic uh, controlled territory at tayo na mga kasama dito sa bansa natin apektado whether you are in the country or whether you are in OFW you're affected by this rotten system which is designed to rule the country rather than to serve the people because uh, Nagtatayaan lang naman yung mga oligarko tuwing eleksyon. O, itong bata namin, ha, presidente namin ito. Eh, yung mga oligarko ang tama ang taya, early betters na nakasama sa winning uh, president, ayun ang uh, nagmumunopila ng mga pag, uh, pag uh, lagay sa pwesto ng mga kabinete. Eh, yung kabinete naman gagawa ng ganyang mga transaksyon na nakikita natin sa Senado na pagkakakitaan ng pera. Na kahit laway lang ang kapital mo, 625,000 pesos, makakakuha ka ng uh, uh, 250 million na contract in just a matter of 4 or 5 days. Sunod-sunod na releases pa. Kaya yung si Digong na yan, kahit napapainvestigahin pa niya itong si Red Cross, eh walang kwentay ano, kung may kasalanan ng Red Cross. Namang mabura, mabubura ba yung kasalanan niya? Nila Digong at uh, ni, ni Bongo at saka ni ni uh, sino to si uh, yang yang si Duki si Duki Bungo ayan uh, ang mga taong nasa gobyerno na uh, si si Bongo ay is a de facto secretary of state uh, secretary of uh, health department of health and itong si Bongo 
walang walang pag walang delikadesa sabi niya may delikadesa siya pero anong klase yung delikadesa ikaw ay dating uh, aliporis ng Malacañang tapos uh, ikinampanya ka na ng digong para maging senador tapos nandiyan ka pa sa senado at nandiyan ka pa rin sa kabinete you are blurring the lines of being an executive uh, member of the executive and a member of the senate eh ang tawag ko diyan sa kanya ay uh, political amphibian si Bongo he is uh, He is both a Malacanang tadpole and a senatorial frog. Ang problema pa, if he wants to croak in the Senate and he wants to be uh, oink oink by the other senator interpolated, he refuses. <laughs> I'm referring to the relaunch request before to interpolate him. And uh, takbo, takbo si Bongo, ayaw. Kasi takot siya kay the Well, that is the capability of uh, Bongo. And pero mayor matapang na kasi ang dami ng pera eh. He held the, hinawakan niya yung rice trade for so long. Hinawakan niya yung bata ni Digong, si Ibasco. Hinawakan niya yung rice trade. Lahat ng uh, bawat subo ng kanin ng bawat Pilipino mula noong 2016 ay may party doon si Bongo. Kaya napakaraming pera ng taong niya. Kaya matapang na ngayon. Uh, pati si uh, Trillanes, sinahamo niya. Sinasabi niya, walang delikadesa si, si Trillanes. Sabang siya, wara, mas talo siyang walang delikadesa. Anyway, I'm talking about these things because the uh, rotten presidential system is prone to the corruption that we see all around. And the uh, systemic corruption of that. And so we have proposing the parliamentary shift because it will allow us systemic vigilance through what I call the parliamentary um, uh, question hour. I've been posting these things. If you look at these things, uh, that's a different thing. But here uh, also about Pacman, but there are other things like uh, uh, the other things that I posted here also, that we need a presidential candidacy that would, uh, that would go all out for uh, a parliament shift as a way to come to cure systemic corruption. But right now, all the announced presidential candidates um, are not saying anything about it. Except I think in one interview, I think uh, Pacquiao mentioned that he is for a parliamentary shift because uh, the PDP love and faction that he is with, with the uh, Copimentel, have always been for parliamentary change. Itong mga, itong mga, lagi, hindi ko natatanggal itong mga tao. Mga notification ko. Nakakabara. Okay lang. Anyway, uh, I'm talking about... Uh, so these are the messages that I have been uh, showing to you. Our corruption. Uh, are you are you also being bothered by my... Uh, no, things? No. By yung mga lumilit on na mga... Just go forward. Ha? Huh? Just Nakikita niyo ba yun itong uh, our corruption? Itong, ano, basahin mo nga yan, uh, Mr. Speaker. Ano ba ang ano, ano bawas mo dyan? Okay, ito, eh, eh, natakpan, natakpan ng, Euro, ng uh, European culture. Ano ba yan? Yun nga ang sinasabi ko. Ano, natatakpan yan. I wanted to get that out. Pero I don't know how to set this para makulang. Close. Mag- close. close mo. Ha? Huh? Close mo. May X eh. Oh, nga. Pero ngayon, natatakpan naman kayo ng kwan. Ah, ito, ito. Hindi, hindi. Yan. Okay. Right. Na. Our problem is systemic corruption and all we see right now are holier-than-thou campaigns, not a campaign for system change. Hmm. Okay? Pati yung si Duterte, nung nag-meeting sila dun sa Pampanga, kasi inagaw nila yung kwan, ang isang faction ng PDP laban, Nandun sa kasi sa charter ng PDP Laban, yung uh, kanilang platform na for federal uh, parliamentary system. Binasa lang ngayon, pero they are not campaigning on it. He's campaigning on his record. He keeps on harping on his uh, drug. They are not uh, promoting anything kasi napahiya siya. Kasi yun ang kanyang kampanya noon, eh, nung bago hmm. siya sa presidente. Hmm. Sabi niya, uh, tunay na pagbabago, system change, gagawa siya ng federal parliamentary shift, hamunin niya ang Congress, sasasara niya kung hindi pumayag sa kanya. Eh, bilib sa kanya yung mga tao, kala niya, tapang. Yun pala, pagdating ng araw, mag-apologize din pala siya sa mga oligarkong binabangga niya. So, wala rin nangyari. And now, he's not mentioning anything about it. 
the only person that has mentioned it in one interview is Pacquiao. Let's see who, who will, who, which other people will do that. Now, that's why I said in this campaign, the for House Representatives, even party list, we should support those going for a shift to Parliament with a written pledge. Ang uh, ginagawa ko rito ay I'm spreading it all around. And the support senatorial candidates pledging to vote together in joint assembly with the House to shift to a parliament, if not junk them. These are the small things I am uh, posting here. And uh, the problem we're having is how do we now uh, make these little things that we are uh, doing in terms of uh, communicating in the Facebook. Sinabi ko pa dito, tinukso ko pa si Digong. Digong may still be able to redeem himself by declaring a red gob. Oh, pero hawak na siya ng mga oligarko kasama na sila sa daming perang hawak. So hindi na niya gagawin yun. Now, the question I'm posing to everybody, which we will discuss today, and I also invited uh, um, Melchor Magdamo, but I think it's late. Maybe sa mga alas 9 pa siguro makakalag on yun. Is how do we reach out and uh, do this thing about, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, communicating to 47, 7, uh, 43,000 uh, barangay councils. Because next month, on, in October, they will have what we call this barangay assemblies all throughout the uh, nation. No? They will be doing it in the second Saturday of, uh, of the month and the last Saturday of the month, ng October. So dalawang beses silang magsesession to discuss these things. What uh, Melchor Magdamo was talking about is an, is an ANCHOR, Anchor, Ancestral Recognition something. But he's not yet here to talk about it. But the uh, question I'm posing to everybody is how do we, uh, how do, we do this? How do we um, reach out to 43,000 barangay assemblies uh, next month? so that they can be aware of our campaign for a parliamentary shift. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the uh, floor is open uh, and you can conduct the uh, panel discussion on how we can answer that question. Well, uh, um, I will now, I think, uh, un unshare, no? I will stop the screening. Maybe uh, Mel can uh, stop my sharing so that I can go back to the normal thing. I don't know how to do that right now. Close. Okay. okay. So Sunny is here. Uh, any any one of you could uh, participate in resolving the issues. How we could disseminate uh, the information to more or less forty two thousand forty six barangays throughout the Philippines related to our intent to shift. Yes, Mr. Speaker, maybe before that, we can discuss first the merits of the parliamentary shift. Why we are, uh, maybe some people here who are new to us may have questions, may have katanungan kung bakit natin, bakit yun ang ating principal advocacy? Well, uh, in the first place, uh, I would like to inform everyone that uh, we are pushing the parliamentary system government in order to resolve the corruption issues. So, any, anyone? who could uh, say something favorable or anything that uh, favorable or, or against the parliamentary system government. So, si Carlo, nakatas ang kamay niya. Carlo? Sige, Carlo, you're magsalita ka. Okay. Ang isa siguro na pwedeng dawin is i-disseminate natin yung mga dinadawa natin sa in the mga big institutions sa, sa mga Facebook pages para madawin din sa ano dapat dawin para makarat sa mga barangay. At baka mag-dapunas ako sa mga kasama natin na o sa mga kapansan natin na nasa media para madawin natin ito sa kumunan isang dadawin ko. Ikaw ba, Carlo, kaya mo mag-translate sa Cebuano ng mga sinasabi ko doon sa Facebook at uh, translate pati kalat mo sa mga Cebuano community? Uh, 
Hello, you are not being asked. Hello? Ay, papa-unmute daw siya, ano ba? Hindi ka ba nakaka-unmute on your own? Ay, kung mga kaya ko, oo, pero sakin muna. Ano? Pag-iisip ako. Kung mga kaya ko talaga, hopefully. Kayahin natin kasi wala na tayong oras. Kalat natin sa sarili natin ang alik. Now, Carlo. Lucano, Sabitulano, ganun. Carlo. Ang yes, yes. inihingi ni Professor Hill ay uh, gaya ng mga posting niya na yan, yung pinakita niya, i-translate mo sa Cebuano, then disseminate information to the uh, people around you. Can you do it? Oh, hayaan, hayaan mo gagawin ko. Okay. Oh, yung, yan. yung isa natin pwedeng gawin din is, uh, alam nyo, yung... Uh, Parang uh, pyramid style ng pag-expand natin. Ano? Yung, uh, bawat tayo siguro may kaibigan tayo na mga sampo o dalabampo na contact natin sa ating cellphone o contact natin sa ating uh, Facebook. Eh, bawat isa sa atin, mag-recruit ng lima na papadala natin itong ating mga communication tapos i-explica natin sa kanila para tayong nag-ibanghelyo, para tayong nagko-convert ng membro. At explain kung bakit ginagawa natin ito. At sikayatin din natin sila na maghanap din sila ng lima na kasama nila na pwede nilang padala ng mga mensaheng ginagawa natin. So lima, 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 lima. Eh, siguro pag ginawa natin yun, eh, in a few months, uh, marami na tayo. Pag maraming makumbinsi tayo, we have to make the effort to at least convince uh, five of our friends among the many that we have to make them uh, support an effort to uh, spread spread the news about our effort to uh, to uh, convert people into a parliamentary uh, shift situation kaya ba natin gawin is that practical is that something that we can do i'm sp I'm, i'm addressing you mr speaker if you can uh, answer that question also Well, uh, these are the matters wherein uh, sometimes uh, I doubt uh, it's quite hard. Why? In the first place, in the first place just, a, Carlo, just a moment. In the first place, uh, the regional uh, group was not being mobilized. So that's why ang plano sana namin na uh, pumunta doon sa Mindanao ngayong linggo. Pero ang problema, uh, sabi ng mga bata ni Norm Miswari, they will be meeting us today at uh, Leyte. Pero may conflict ito dahil uh, may assembly ngayon sa Lonita. So kung iwanan namin ni Capre ang uh, Lonita, uh, ang mobilization ay magiging uh, watak-watak naman. So what we did is, uh, sabi ko kay Captain Ray, uh, just inform, uh, just inform them in Mindanao that uh, if they could uh, conduct uh, some meeting upon the arrival of the group of uh, Bisayas in Mindanao, that much better. But we could not leave uh, Manila as of the moment. So, mukha na mga Uh, malaman natin to kung mag-conduct sila ng show meeting sa uh, Saturday or Monday. But we could not uh, just come to Mindanao and uh, leave Manila because now, uh, uh, ano ito eh, uh, mga 220 cities ang magsama-sama mag-rally ngayong uh, araw. So beginning uh, morning time today, There are some group who will be staying at Lunita, while uh, the group of Gising Marlika will be coming there around the 12 o'clock. So, nabanggit ko na medyo may kahirapan. However, we will see what will be the uh, product of what they are talking there in Mindanao, or what they are dealing there in Mindanao. And we will see by uh, if not by sunday and then maybe by monday we could uh, decide what shall we do uh 
Well, Mr. Speaker, I realize yung mga problema natin ngayon, uh, yung mga COVID and everything uh, impairs our mobility. Pero what I was talking about was just uh, cell phone contacts and uh, Facebook contacts or email contacts. I uh, posted something there na magikita mo sa chat natin, yung uh, pinadala sa akin ni Congressman Willie Villarama na yan ang mga dapat natin gawing mga mensahe para maikonekta natin ang ating uh, problema ng korupsyon at ang solusyon na maibibigay ng parliamentary question hour. Na tuwing linggo, ang uh, head ng gobyerno natin ay harap sa, sa tao. Ang isang malaking objection minsan na sinasabi nitong mga oligarko para ang mga tao ay hindi pumunta sa parliament. Oh, mawawala sa inyo ang pag-elect ng presidente. Diretso. Hindi po totoo yun. Kasi yung French system na ang tawag ay semi-presidential at semi-parliamentary, yung presidente nila doon, si Macron, is elected directly by the people. And Macron is in charge as president of uh, French foreign policy and he is the commander-in-chief of the army. Ayan, yung prime minister na isang uh, member of parliament or parang congressman natin ngayon na ini-elect ng kanyang mga kasamahan bilang member of parliament, yun ang in-charge ng uh, bansa internally at siya nagmamanihar kung paano gagawin ng gobyerno in terms of providing services and uh, providing things that are needed by the people. Pero pag uh, gumawa ng iskandalo, madaling mabisto sa simula pa lang kasi may umaharap ang primo ministro sa kanyang parliament every uh, now and then tungkol sa mga problema ng uh, paggawa niya ng kanyang implementasyon ng uh, mga batas na sila mismo ang gumagawa. Kasi sa, sa parliamentary system, siyempre, yung legislative powers ay fused with the executive powers ng prime, ng, uh, prime minister, ng kanyang cabinet. So hindi pwede magkaroon ng gridlock. Sila mismo ang gagawa ng batas at sila mismo ang mag implemento ng mga batas na yon. Kaya yung objection na pag nag-parliament tayo, hindi na pwedeng ma-elect ng mga tao, diretso presidente, hindi totoo yun. Pwede pa rin tayo mag-elect ng uh, presidente, diretso, sa boto ng mga tao. At uh, pwede pa rin tayong magkaroon din ng prime minister na pwedeng tanggalin ng mga tao, ng mga kapwa niya, ministro or members of parliament, kung sila ay gumagawa ng kalokohan ganyan na nakikita natin ngayon sa mga Senate investigation. Pero ang kamalian ng presidential system, yung katulad ng Senate investigation, para nag-iimbestiga kayo ng cattle rustling na ngayon ay uh, huli na dahil sa uh, nakuha na ng mga cattle rustlers yung baka, wala nang laman ng turil, saka kayo magsasara <laughs> ng uh, turil. Uh, yun ang isang uh, comment ko dyan. Uh, Mr. Speaker, nagtataas po ng kamay si Enrico Merioles. Okay, so before Enrico... Enrico Merioles, uh, si Arsenio Antonio muna dahil uh, nauna sa kaangat ng kamay. Okay. Antonio uh, Merioles, then Domingo. Okay, uh, Arsenio Antonio, can you unmute please? Okay. Thank you very much, Sir uh, Lorca. Thank you very much, Sir Hill Ramos. I've been a fan. I've been following you ever since. Okay. So, uh, parliamentary system is not new to me. Okay. I, the reason why I attended this is uh, this forum is just I want to to help. You know, so we have to push our all own effort. Uh, the main problem that I can see right now is just the people are not informed really on what is parliamentary system is. Okay, so that means uh, we we still have a lot a, a long journey. So I was thinking. Uh, a suggestion uh, of putting some some kind of a grouping through five, I think that will work out. I am a blogger myself, okay, and I, I know the difficulty. Uh, I, because I, I beg your pardon. Grouping through through, through five, five, the what the what he, he had uh, suggested, because you mentioned about lima limang tao, then we can put it all together. That is possible. I can see yes. that. Because it is the same way what I'm doing right now. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I don't want to, you know, to, to to push anything onto myself that I am this and I am that. I just want to participate because I know I can be an instrument in pushing 
whatever the values or whatever the the uh, uh, what kind of achievement we want to achieve at the end of the game because we know what's going on with the Philippines. Uh, it's not a secret anymore. Okay, so uh, after this, uh, the only thing I would like to ask, uh, uh, Sir Hill, I want to make a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, appointment with him so we could be able to talk personally because I still have a lot of matters I would like to discuss, uh, not in front of this panel. Uh, if, if it's possible, Sir Hill. Uh, yes, no? that's because fine. I know, I know, I know because and I will uh, respond to you in uh, you Facebook Messenger thank, or for a personal Zoom. You. We can talk. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, it's not because I don't want the people to hear what I'm going to be talking about. But I just want to be uh, frank with you. Uh, 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 I want whatever I have in hand right now to work out. And the only reason I can see it will work out if I'm going to connect it directly with you. Okay, that's fine. Because I can work okay, with you. Uh, uh, to, give, to give you a little background of myself, I've worked with the U.S. Army for 10 years uh, in the Allied Forces in Berlin. I'm not a soldier, but I work in, uh, in a mess hall. I was, a, I was once a secretary of the 6502nd Brigade in, in, uh, in, uh, in Berlin. Okay, and uh, I lived for almost uh, three, almost quite three decades in Berlin. I speak German, speak English, and of course, our own language. So uh, parliamentary system is not, not new to me. I'm not a politician. I'm not that intelligent as you are, sir, right? But the only thing is just like, uh, we, 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 we come into this limelight of, the, of our age that uh, we want to do something for our children and the children of our children. You know, it's like a legacy, okay? But um, the come to the point is this, there's a lot of possibility because it's not only us who wanted to help. There are also a lot of groups, you know? I don't want to specify, but there's also a lot of groups who wanted to help us, foreign, pro, foreign groups. It's the Red Cross, Caritas, or this shit, no? So, because we know the problem. The problem is, it's all about money, the corruption. So, uh, I met with a group in, uh, in South Africa and Netherlands, and same as in Berlin. You know, it's like an underground group. We're just chatting just like this one. And um, we came to the conclusion that we have to work it out together. Not unless, if we cannot do this, Nothing really will going to happen. This is really a very huge campaign. It's not a campaign. I, I was sorry. It's, it's very huge uh, 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 endeavor, you know, to achieve. But I know we can do it. I know we can do it. And I feel we have the power right now because the people are listening to us. And we were going to use the, the power of the, the internet. And to add to that, to add to that, because um, we are doing our own system. Uh, it's like a Facebook. And I already uh, 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 put it in public about a year ago. I was interviewed by uh, uh, Fiscal Cañente in Caloacan City. Um, the, reason, the reason why you want to put our own system so nobody can touch us. That means uh, we're doing some kind of a, a similarly like Facebook, but it, it's ours to use for the purpose of this. And I also want to recommend, that's why I want to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussion with you, Sir Ramos. Uh, Sir, Sir Ramos. Hill, if, Hill. It's Hill. If it's, yeah, it's, if, if it's feasible, okay? Like, like yeah. what I said, like what I said, no? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a professional when it comes to this, okay? Yeah. But uh, still, with the experience that I got, okay? Uh, the know-how and uh, the knowledge, little knowledge, I think I, I could be able to make an impact on what we are, you know, uh, doing right now. We're going to push for yeah. the parliamentarism. I know that. That's the reason why I voted for the gong. And actually, I, 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 I pushed for him because that's actually the first thing that he wanted. He, he, he promised us. You're going to push for parliamentarism. Am I right? I'm yes, right. I'm right to yes. the point. Okay. So what happened? You know, they juggle us, and at the end, see what is happening right now. We know the corruption. 
We know the yes. corruption in DOH. You know, I mean, <laughs> even the blind can see. <laughs> yeah, that's my word. Even the blind can see. So, but the thing is this: we don't have the power, but yeah. the people underneath. It's like a pyramid, okay? But we're not doing like a multi uh, multi multi system that we have a product to endorse. You have to buy this. You commission on this. This is not the point, okay? I know the people has the power. We have to give it to them. So we have to 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 to, to bring the instrument. This is this little instrument. If the people would uh, would understand it, then we are good to go. Because we, we we're lacking lacking out of time right now, because yes. the the election we're gonna be okay. The the registration will be on October, right? October. Actually, I'm pushing for uh, IME and Bangbong, okay? And I still mm -hmm. have a lot of debates. You know the yeah. reason why I'm pushing for the, the brother and sister. You know what happened? Why? It's very simple, okay? We don't know if if Bangbong, you know, just <laughs> be executed or whatever. Then I we still have IME. You know what I mean? Yes. I, 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 I'm not against Marcos. Okay. I was only misinformed during that time. I was an activist myself, you know. But I mean, uh, from from the wrong wrong wrongdoings that I, I I did way back, you know, the 80s, you know, I said to myself, right, okay, this is the time to do it right. Let's do it right. Uh, we can control the group. Um, I still have a, a grouping, which is actually the eight regions, and they are active. I can talk to them one by one. So uh, I have already leaders, okay? I got a project. I got a farming, agricultural. Uh, I, I got a support from outside source, especially China. I got one also. Saudi Arabia. And that's the reason why... Uh, I want to talk to you personally because I yeah. want to lay down particularly the the basis of what I am trying to 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 open up here at this forum. Yes, yes. Sure. So uh, okay. I could say only Yabol. <laughs> Thank you, Shen. Okay. Uh, okay. It's been then... complex for change. <laughs> uh, 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 by the way, uh, we have a project actually, which is uh, uh, the, the German sausage. Okay. And the reason why we push for the German sausage is just because the nutrition, you know what, what, what the Filipinos are eating are bullshit. You know, you, you got uh, you got hamburger, you got inasal. You know, it's always the same thing. You know, yes. but nutrition-wise, uh, it's it's lacking. That's why the Filipinos they have, you know, big tummy. You know, at the age of forty, they have already a lot of sickness, oh, okay. diabetes, That's and also uh, San Miguel beer, San Miguel beer. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, but anyway, um, we, I am ready 62, okay? So I don't have really much time, okay? So we have to push the airport right now because if we wanna, we cannot do it now, nothing will gonna happen. That's how I, that's kung hindi the way ngayon, I see it. Kailan pa. Kung, exactly, kung hindi ngayon, kailan pa. Wala tayong yeah. patas, ha? Yeah. Buti na lang, sir, 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 sir Ramos, sir, sir Hill, no? Uh, Actually, uh, I, 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 know I look you. forward to our private talk and then we can perhaps yeah, yeah. Uh, discuss yeah, yeah, how yeah. to share it with the rest of the group so that we uh, can all cooperate together. Because this is actually an arrangement. It's an organization, but I don't, I don't want to, 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 to be underground. I want to, <laughs> I want to go up. I want the people to see the public to know what we are doing. Because if you keep yeah. on underground, we're just a rat. We're not a rat. Uh, yeah. Okay. If I'm so, uh, if it's I may, okay. Uh, if I may, Mr. Antonio, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To, uh, continue this in private so that we can yeah, not, thank you very uh, much. allow other people to share their views right now. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. From, my point, Mr. Okay, Antonio. That, from my point, that's all I can I can lay down today. As as, yeah. Thank you. Okay. As as, as thank you very much, sir. As soon as the session is uh, adjourned, uh, you could call uh, uh, Professor Hill and then uh, talk it. Privately. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, we can Appreciate continue that. after twelve o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you, and uh, now I'm giving the privilege to Mr. iPhone. Okay, iPhone, uh, just unmute and. Uh, so that's Mr. Marioles. Yeah. Oh, unmute, na? Ah. Uh, 
Naririnig nyo na? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, we can hear you, Enrico. Mr. Speaker, uh, I guess uh, in order to create more traction in terms of awareness for the pro-parliamentary system of government, I guess uh, it's high time for us to formally organize. There is no political party now at present who is claiming for a push to parliament, parliamentary system. It's our of opportunity, kung tayo ang mauuna, tayo ang top of the mind ng mga tao. So, it will not only create a good awareness, but it will also uh, easily um, raise funds for purposes of uh, uh, creating more awareness to what we are doing. So yes. the, the idea is let's organize, let's form a political party, let's register the political party. Maliwanag uh, ang ating intention. We will go for a parliamentary, we will push for a parliamentary system of government. And then let's start the fundraising campaign. The funds that we can generate should first be used be utilized for uh, an awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, pag, pag hindi tayo mag-organize, pag hindi tayo mag-register as a political party, I doubt if we can create the necessary media mileage para magkaroon ng traction ng mabigat itong ating uh, advocacy. Yun lang ang aking gustong sabihin. It's high time now. Uh, uh, as uh, Mr. Antonio said, uh, we are running out of time. Malapit na ang election. Uh, until now, hindi pa tayo uh, napapansin ng uh, mass media. The moment we register this uh, political party, we can invite, we can hold a press conference already kahit na siguro uh, walang bayad sa mga media practitioners. We can invite the bloggers wherein Mr. Antonio has a uh, connection. And then let's start, let's, have a, let's hold a press conference after registration. Initially, kung sino yung marunong mag-register ng political party should uh, have his uh, hands dirty first. Siguro madali lang naman mag-register sa Comerick. Yun lang, uh, para, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Excuse me, excuse my interruption, but para siguro... Uh, may inform tayo kung paano naggagawa uh, ng mga party and everything. We have to ask a very good resource here, uh, Congressman Willie Villarama. Yeah. Maybe you can uh, insert your um, your own insights as to what uh, Mr. Enri Enrico Mariolas is saying, if the if the speaker would allow it. Well, uh, Kong Villarama, you have the floor. Kong Villarama. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, maganda umaga po sa inyo lahat. At, uh, maganda umaga rin. At tutuwa naman ako dito sa mga narinig natin <coughs> at uh, umuusad itong mga pangarap natin para sa mahirap na Pilipino. Uh, so, siguro po, uh, I just uh, registered the political party. And uh, medyo hindi po ganun kahirap. So, ang importante po ay... Uh, Nagkaroon ng parang putting up a corporation. Okay? And uh, at uh, madadalang ko na lang kayo ng ano, ng uh, parang uh, kopya kung uh, anong nilalagay. It, 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 is it going to be a national political party, uh, sir? National. I don't know yes. what Mr. Yes, it should, be. Well, yes okay. it should be a national political party. Okay. 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 Uh, Yeah, uh, magpapadala po ako sa inyo uh, kay, ano, kay uh, Professor Hill. Magpapadala ako para mapadala sa inyo. Uh, hindi po ganun kahirap. Uh, uh, ang, ang mahirap 
ang mahirap yung magparegister as a as a party list. May, may put sila sa a party list. list. Pero yung uh, political party, uh, hindi, hindi, hindi ganun kahirap. Hindi ganun kahirap. Uh, I, can, I can send you some, ano, some papers para at least ano. Uh, madali na lang. Kung baga, ano, parang fill in the blanks na lang. Importante, magkaroon tayo ng ano, magkaroon ng uh, tawag dito ng it's like putting up a corporation. May mga may mga officers tapos may mga members. No? It's as simple as that. Hindi, hindi naman ano. Kaya lang ngayon, medyo siguro pagkatapos na ng uh, election niya dahil busy busy ang COMELEC ngayon eh. Ang, hindi pa nga natatapos yung mga party list sa uh, pag-approve nila. And deadline, October 1 na. But uh, madali lang po yun. Uh, tutulong po ako. Tutulong po ako dito sa pinaplano. Kaya lang, uh, ano, medyo disqualified ako dahil may political party na po kami finale. Uh, yun lang po, uh, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Uh, kung Bilirama, uh, I just only wanted to have a clarification because of the national calamity being declared by the President. What uh, is your uh, uh, foresight about this? Will this uh, affect the uh, election 2022 or what is in your mind? Well, uh, al- alam nyo, looking at it uh, positively, talagang ano, may emergency dahil <clears throat> kahit sa ibang bansa, nagkaka-problema ng malaki sa COVID. Ngayon, uh, negatively, uh, kasi ang, ang ulo natin, good and bad, hindi ba? Yung bad side, eh, kontrolado nila lahat yung uh, mga, marami kasing mga exemption pag uh, emergency. For example, kung may bibiling kang, uh, ano are, government, No, this is a, not emergency. It's a calamity. The term they use is calamity, not emergency. Well, uh, why I, I got I, 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 I got uh, misled. I, I'm not a lawyer, pero palagi ko ano yan eh. Kasi under uh, an emergency, calamity, uh, ano, wave na yung bidding process. Uh, kaya nilalagay yan para yung mga pera kumari ng ira, madaling ibili ng gamot. Maganda naman ng ano, mas mas flexible kasi if you will go through the bidding eh, talagang ano lalaki ng problema niyan mag-aaway-away pa mga supplier mag-aaway-away pa yung mga ahente mag-aaway-away pa yung mga corrupt na mga politiko na gagawin para mag-supply eh dito ano lang to parang canvassing na lang ito so for for uh, kung gagamitin sa tama maganda ito dahil uh, hindi na pupunta pa sa Maynila o sa DBM para magpabili. Yan lang po ang aking ano. Yan, yan lang ang aking uh, opinion tungkol dyan. I, I think palos pareho yan. Calamity at saka, at saka ano, emergency. Uh, yan lang po. Yan lang po ang sharing ko. Uh, Professor Hill? Well, I, I, I think uh, we should go ahead with it and um, Mahirap ito, I will suggest that since um, uh, Mr. Marioles has suggested that we form a party, can he assist you, Mr. Speaker, in forming it so that uh, you will be the chair of that process and he could be like a deputy to you so that we can coordinate with uh, Congressman Villarama on how to do it? Well, uh, I, 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 I will because... Uh... Uh, to tell you frankly, the chair, uh, the Comilic chair is uh, uh, close to me. However, uh, uh, as of this time, he does not respond to what I am uh, messaging him. However, uh, I'll, I will do my best. I will talk to his mother if, if possible and then to some of his uh, cousins. And I'll try. I will do my best. What can I do? Because okay. last, uh, uh, I think last, Mr. Marioles has a task to do to assist you in doing that. Last uh, election, I, I, I convinced him that I will be running, but he told me that if ever possible because he's the chairman, then I have to stop. Okay, I, I will not intervene. <laughs> I will not interfere with your objection, and I will, uh, I will not run. So since 2019, so I, I stopped. 
I, I stopped talking about politics because I don't want also to have uh, I don't want to collide uh, later or sooner the family might collide but uh, as far as the suggestion of Mr. Uh, Moriolis is concerned uh, and uh, the suggestion of Mr. Antonio so uh, I will do my best what I can okay thank you Mr. Speaker there are others who would like to talk so maybe we should give them the floor uh sunny you are raising your hand uh, before sunny you have the floor now you have to ask him to unmute no maybe he's not aware of it yes sunny domingo please unmute your audio yes. he's not unmuting maybe he has left the area or he's oh, uh, you can okay. hear it right now who else would like to Michael? Michael Lunan, I think. Uh, please unmute and uh, we want to hear from you. I agree with the proposals and uh, and the suggestion of Willy Pujalama, Congressman Willy Pujalama. So just pursue whatever, because at this point, uh, what is lacking is the awareness really on a mass scale. And uh, uh, as the saying goes, you cannot James Bond your, your way to power. Uh, the, the shortest distance between two points is not a straight line. It, uh, you go through winding, you go left, right, up, down, through humps and bumps, sig and sag. At times you make detours, U-turns, etc. I mean, that's the dynamics of life. Even light physics, it follows a curvature. So no, no straight. You know. So at times you really have to go through such approaches, uh, strategies, tactics, etc. Be flexible as the conditions. Uh, uh, you may have the same uh, North Star or compass, no? Uh, general direction but in getting there you you really have to uh, be flexible enough to tactically strategically I mean uh, uh, come up with something that something that will a, a good handle to build on something so that's the in fact uh, they say the indirect approach. There was this book by Hart, Little Hart. Uh, I, I read it way, way, way back, decades back. He he emphasized the 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 importance of the indirect approach, uh, and it goes through with advertising, marketing, even courting. You mean legal momonab? Something like that, no? So, so politically, ganon din siguro if you have this objective. Let's say bring back the the 1899, no? Uh, the Malolos. Uh, to achieve that, you need to go through a winding. Ano, uh, that, that's just my opinion. No? That's just my opinion because it's a long shot thing. Eh? So, and build up probably uh, si Mel. Pagdamo, yung former Comelec, he uh, had very good uh, and probably popularized that. It's not even, I was asking for a copy, but it's not, uh, we, should, we should get it circulated in on a mass scale and just let the ideas percolate. Because once you create a critical mass, there can be rallying points. And that's when, when you, let's say, when you position yourself, let's say, as suggested by Mr. Morioles earlier, uh, Morioles, pala, no? uh, when you create a uh, registered say, party, once the, uh, when, when the ideas uh, percolate and spread, they can all rally behind that organization or party. So, kumbaga, medyo, yan mo, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so that, that's all I guess. Noted on that. So now I'm giving the floor to Sunny. 
Yes, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, I agree to, to everything that was said. I was, uh, of course, listening, although I am in another Zoom now because I am, uh, I am uh, being uh, uh, reviewed on the 100 questions that I have to deliver for the professional uh, licensed agriculturist to pass so that we will have more agriculturists to help in our agriculture sector. They should be qualified and should be professionals. So if I may, uh, I would like to uh, confirm my agreement to, to the um, proposal that we should have a parliament. We should have a parliamentary party. My suggestion is why organize a new party when there are other parties just waiting for a group like us to adopt them. <laughs> For example, if you do not like KBL, KBL is a parliamentary party system. But anyway, you don't like it, so let's not work with him. There's another party uh, on a Tagalog name, which is a nationalist party that has been uh, registered with the uh, Comelec since 2016. And they, all, or they have been fielding some uh, mayors and councillors, but they can go national if a group like us will be adopting them. It's just a matter of me. This is headed by Mr. Ben Punong Bayan, the top uh, accounting services um, uh, agency of the Gaina STB in the Philippines. He, he has a farm in Cavite. Uh, we are working together and uh, he's been uh, inviting me to join him. Maybe this time I will enjoy in, uh, invite him to join our group on the agreement that uh, his party will now become a parliament party or parliamentary system party, whatever you call it. So that's one. The other one, uh, uh, the other suggestions, um, uh, uh, let, let me um, uh, emphasize the need for an immediate action now. The uh, in, inverted pyramid approach is nice, but as you know, inverted pyramids are unstable. So I agree with the uh, hill. Uh, we can we can expand anyway on the basis of an inverted pyramid. But after that, we should have a definite uh, 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 advocacy uh, for the inverted pyramid to become stable. So a parliamentary system per se is not enough. They will ask what kind of a parliament do we want? In my case. The parliamentary system that I want is a sectoral parliament, meaning whoever's in Congress should be representing your sector, uh, Mr. Speaker. Right. Should be representing my, my sector, Mr. Speaker. Should be representing even the academic, academic sector of my Mr. Speaker. Should be representing the military also. Should be, should be representing the church. Yung background mo yan, malaking pera yan, pag naisan na yan. Pwede, <laughs> pwede nating... Uh, from pang uh, sa campaign. So if I may, uh, I think uh, to encourage now the uh, public to participate, uh, pasalamat natin kay Juan, kay uh, Rick Cordon. Marami ang nanonood doon sa uh, uh, lecture niya sa ang, ang, kung subject yun, ang tawag dyan, Corruption 101. Pinapakita niya doon kung paano mag-corrupt ang isang presidente. Pero maganda rin at sinasakot ni presidente, pinapakita na niya kung ano ang problema ng presidente sa mga pangyayaring ganito. So for example, doon sa issue na bakit nag-declare ng calamity hanggang September, eh hindi na siya presidente noon, eh yun ay para masigurado na by timeline, ang sabi siguro ng uh, public health sector at pwede maging parliamentarian din si Secretary um, uh, Secretary Doke balang araw to to kwan himself, to explain himself. Uh, siguro hanggang September talaga na mawawala yung COVID. Eh kami sa agriculture sector, nandyan o mawala yung COVID, pareho lang sa amin. Kaya importante yung parliamentary system dahil doon, pwede kaming makipaghagal sa ibang sektor na pwede ba binigyan nyo ng public works ng 1 trillion ng bayanihan 1 and 2 
nakagawa ng mga kalsada. Yan na saan ang kalsada ng mga magsasaka? Eh bakit hanggang ngayon nag- nagdibilad pa rin sa highway? Uh-huh. Highway ni uh, Secretary Villar. Dapat yan, may salang din natin na may budget din na 1 trillion doon sa 4 trillion ang, ang agriculture para makagawa ng from Batanes to Basilan, uh, bahala na ang sulong muna, uh, ng uh, redrying facility na gaya ng ginawa ni uh, Lucio Tan, kaya siya kumita sa tabako, binili niya lahat kahit anong klase ng tabako. Parang na po. Anong lagay niya? Hello, can I continue? Okay, okay, continue. Yeah. So, okay, redrying plan para sa magsasaka, common service facility, gobyerno maglagay. Kung kaya na ng farmer na papunta sa kanila yon, farmer na ang ang, uh, ang uh, mag-takeover. Lagyan ng uh, corporate ownership, 80% sa publiko, 20, uh, 10% sa uh, gobyerno. Para may kita ng gobyerno, kinatayo na niya yan eh. Redrying plant and silo. Tingnan mo, kung mag-travel ka ngayon, for every uh, 500 kilometers, may redrying plant sa kasilo. Tingnan mo kung di mapuno yan ng palay. Ang napalay na, palay pa rin ng farmer yan. Ay, hihintayin ng magandang presyo. Yun ang panglaban sa mga cartel. Okay, yung 1,000, 1 million additional uh, na sinasabi ko na irrigated area, that is to compensate for the 1 million hectares na ginawa ni Marcos when we were, we were only 50 million people. Now we are 100 million plus. That means we have to irrigate another 1 million hectares. Kaya pinupos natin yung electrification, electric, uh, irrigation by electricity kasi hindi na natin kaya ng mga damdam na yan. At wala na tayong madamdam kasi wala rin damdamin yung mga, mga nagpa, nag, naggagawa niyan. 50% na lang ang capacity nito ngayon. So may problema tayo sa usage din, utilization. Pero mas parang yung problema na dapat mag-irrigate tayo ng additional 1 million hectares na rented area. Simple lang yan. Uh, lang. Now okay, back to the sectoral parliament. Uh, palagay ko, makinig ang mga barangay kung ang pag-usapan ay eh, hindi political district, kundi sectoral districts. Hindi political representation, kundi sectoral representation. Mawawala na yan. So, ngayon, kung sectoral ang parliament natin at hindi uh, maayos yung presidente natin, pwede pa silang mag-declare na uh, vacant ang presidential seat. So, that's the way to control the, the presidency. Ngayon, ang president naman, kung hindi naman maayos yung sectoral parliament, eh pwede siyang mag-call ng another parliament uh, election para mapalitan yung mga nakapasok dyan na um, manggugulo lang pala. So, yun lang ang atin, um, Mr. Figger, eh, pari siya kumamaya dahil I have to uh, defend my, one, my uh, examinations on... Uh, agricultural uh, agriculture that have graduated already. Salamat. Uh, but I will stand by tradition muna for any reaction on my proposal. I am willing to approach the uh, Mr. Punong Bayan to convert his party into a parliament party, parliamentary system party. Yan po. Thank you. Noted on that. And uh, I think uh, Speaker Hill uh, has also idea about it because uh, we have one group who is also willing to adopt the parliamentary system and their political party was already registered and uh, Professor Boots knows that. So I hope, uh, because now now uh, that the pandemic problem is uh, uh, troubling us, the question of uh, registering uh, Nowadays, because I tried going to Comilec uh, almost five times now, but I cannot come in. Not unless the person you want to see up there is there. But the very question is, some of them, or most of them, they do not report to their office. They just communicated by uh, through Zoom. So simply to say, but uh, the, the security guard will just tell you, I'm sorry, uh, they are not there. So you, you could not come in. Now, when you want to register, uh, one of my friends was uh, uh, going to Comilec and uh, make sure that all the 
uh, requirement was uh, was there. Otherwise, then uh, when you come back, another security guard will have to meet you and the uh, different requirement they have to ask you. So that's why uh, for the time being that uh, we have this present condition, it seems to me that uh, even registering is quite, uh, you know, quite a problem. Professor Hill. Yes, uh, I think uh, the suggestion of uh, Kasfandi is uh, laudable, and I think uh, let us ask uh, Mr. Morioles what he thinks about it, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Mr. Morioles, can you unmute, unmute please? Yes. Oh, unmute, please. Unmute. No? Unmute. Unmute. Nakamute siya. Nakamute ka. Ayan. Ayan. Ngayon na. <clears throat> Diyan na siya. Yeah, ang uh, ano lang is uh, ang uh, ang masasabi ko lang tungkol sa proposal ni ni ano ni Mr. Domingo is uh, baka yung leadership ng partido na registrado na i-adapt na magpapa-adapt itong grupo natin ay baka hindi magkatugma ang uh, mga objectives with uh, the 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 prime movers of this uh, uh, group yun lang ngayon kung magkakatugma then uh, that's the easier way to 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 register a political party and make a noise or an awareness campaign for a parliamentary ship. Yun lang ang aking ma iko comment yan. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, can I have the floor? Okay. You have the floor. Well, I, I think that uh, it would be good if uh, Castani Domingo and uh, Enrico Merioles can uh, come together and have a Zoom meeting with. Uh, Punong Bayan or whoever it is or whoever whichever party uh, Sasani is suggesting to coalesce with and talk about it. Anyway, coalition building skills is a necessary skill in a parliamentary setup and we can talk about these things together, right? Uh, so if uh, the speaker would uh, make it an initiative of uh, Mr. Marioles to go into Zoom meeting with Kasani Domingo and also with uh, Punong Bayan, that could be a good what we can do. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I'm so, fine. Fine. Fine with that. So, uh, Akin, because uh, now uh, we are here, uh, I suggest that uh, uh, Kasani and uh, um, uh, Mr. Morulis, Pung uh, uh, Bilyarama, so you better communicate privately, then uh, sooner or later, there's a time you have to announce it public. What yeah, we, they can they can do that and make a report to us next uh, plenary session, which yes. is next Saturday. But I agree yeah. that uh, but I agree that in the parliamentary system government, uh, the sectoral uh, representation has to be uh, conducted. Mr. Speaker, yes, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Okay, uh, Mr. Morales. I, I may continue. suggest that uh, uh, Doctor. Dr. Uh, Ramos should also be there because uh, he knows the objectives of uh, this group more than anybody. Ako, hindi ko kabisado ang objectives natin. Kaya, uh, I mean, the detailed objectives. Kaya, uh, hindi ako makakapagsalita when it comes to, to, to forming a coalition with uh, this group of uh, Mr. Sunny Domingo. Ang ano dito is Mr. Lorke, uh, Mr. Speaker, kayo, saka si Dr. Ramos. No, you can speak I'm, for this I'm group. I'm willing to participate if I'm needed. That I'm fine. I can participate. As long as I'm oh. notified uh, within 48 hours, I can be there. But what, yeah. what, what we are uh, looking into is uh, your, your convenient time. So for us, uh, no problem. Whatever time convenient for you, we are okay. Just inform us. Or just yeah, inform uh, Professor Hill, and then uh, Professor Hill will tell me. Yeah, Mr. Speaker. 
Okay. Sunny Denise. Yeah. Okay, Sunny. Yeah, okay, I agree. Uh, would be nice really if um, Kung Willy uh, can uh, can initiate the Zoom and I will take care of making contacts with uh, Mr. Punong Bayan. Uh, of course, I will explain to him first our basic objective. And I will yes. explain to him that we, well, in my case, it would be a chance for me to also uh, require that uh, he must agree to the possibility if the group agrees of a sectoral parliament. Of course, between us, pag-usapan pa rin natin ito, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I think you should put in a time to it so that we can all agree that when we face the public, we know what kind of parliament we have. Uh, hindi bakla. Kailangan uh, tutuo, tutuo yung parliament natin. So, and also, if I may request so that uh, everybody will participate, uh, and uh, since Mr. Uh, Attorney Posadas has been with us and is not uh, active now, uh, he can provide us uh, the legal uh, uh, requirements or, or legal opinions on all of this. Uh, uh, from my point of view, of both uh, Professor Hill and and uh, Attorney Posadas are right. Professor Hill is for proclamation. He is for, uh, uh, it should be a step, a step to process. It should first be a, an indication of the president agreeing uh, to doing his job. That is as simple as that. And then uh, step two will be if he agrees to do his job, then he may also do uh, proclaim. But there's one uh, dark cloud that is roaming over us. There might not be an election. So that should be the topic of, uh, that should be one of the topics on the succeeding days. And uh, hopefully, if you can take all of this up in uh, one sitting uh, better. So maybe, uh, Mr. Speaker, if you follow the role of uh, uh, the role of uh, robust role of order, uh, and you want to participate, uh, declare that uh, part one, part two, and part three of the session would be these topics. And in the topic, they're interested. Uh, so you don't have to be um, uh, asking for a point of order as a, as a presiding officer. You, you ask somebody else to, to be the speaker. Uh, for the day and uh, you can participate and then uh, maybe we should develop some house rules also on uh, joining uh, our our uh, session and make it make this like a real parliament and i volunteer to represent the agriculture sector Yun lang po. Maraming salamat okay. po. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as far as myself is concerned because uh, this only what they call only a shadow congress so what I uh, presume to myself is uh, being called the speaker. I uh, also assume myself as a shadow. So therefore, uh, I am not assuming that I am really the one who has to uh, preside. But uh, sometimes I, I, I interfere to whatever uh, things comes into my mind uh, as to whether or not it could be possible or Provided it is not uh, divisive. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mr. Speaker, there's nothing wrong uh, to speak from the chair. That's a common practice in Parliament. You can speak from the chair and say that that is the point to be the chair. But you cannot initiate motions. You cannot uh, second the motion. That's all that is. But in terms of speaking, there's no restriction to what you want to uh, put into the process of discussion. Thank you. OK, uh, Mike. Uh... Uh, Lonan, you are recognized. Please unmute. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I I agree with the points raised by Kasani, like one, sectoral, because when you go sectoral, you you target uh, the broadest and in more likelihood, the bulk of those who are the underprivileged like the urban poor, indigenous people, etc. And you can break it down further, no? And uh, I also want to stress the point that we should 
focus on the physical economy uh, let, let me give you an example no like for instance itong current ayuda ayuda no how come the ayuda is all in cash simple uh, a 200,000 peso for instance that's only 200 bills at 1,000 peso each cash sa kanang bursa ni kapitan but if you buy sacks of rice at 2,000 pesos per sack, a 50 kilo sack, that's 100 sacks of rice, puno na yung kwarto ni Kapitan. Hindi niya mabubur sa yun. Okay. So why are they pushing more cash? Because madali ang kupit national, local. And there is no way, there's no paper trail, no checks. No, all they the, all they require are signatures of recipients, and there's no way to authenticate, to verify, validate on whether on, on on these so-called recipients. Now, but if you have physical movement of goods, there are many advantages and benefits. One is those who have been displaced, you can employ them on a mass scale. Doing packing, repacking, you convert the basketball court, the barangay hall, the social hall, the public elementary schools, even private schools as packing, repacking centers. Okay. Second, you avoid the yung dagsaan sa mga barangay uh, uh, queuing up for their ayuda. So you avoid the social distancing. Now, you mobilize. Third, you can also mobilize those who were displaced, let's say, for the tricycles and jeepneys. What will they do? They do the distribution. Linggo, linggo. Bibigay doon sa bahay, bahay, house to house. And when you do the house to house, you can even come up with better inventory, come up with surveys, come up with more accurate. Because you have on a per household, ano, you can gather info, you can... Um, and, and, and a fourth would be... There is movement of goods from agriculture, which will benefit farmers and factories and produce madilata, sabon, gatas, etc. So uh, the economy would keep on going despite the lack uh, quote unquote lockdowns, no? And the health protocols will be maintained. So this is just a simple example of how the focus on physical. Now, why is it? Let's say in the case of the irrigation, how come for more than 30 years they keep on produce uh, uh, allocating for rehab in the new irrigation? Because pag rehab, pag in audit, ituturo lang yung dating ano, yung luma. Ayan ay accomplishment. So there's no way to check on ano. So it has to be physical. Okay, pagdating sa let's say bidding in all government offices, bidding. How come there's only one winner? Why can't we have the top three, top five? That way, you democratize wealth, you democratize participation. It can be done, maybe a legislative, no? I don't know, maybe executive. Let's study that. No? Then, those who cannot perform within that period, who, those who have won the top three, top five builders, those who didn't deliver, disqualified na sa succeeding, ano? then, Doon sa nag-qualify, tatlo o lima man sila, then you create the competition in terms of quality, actual delivery of goods. Ito nabibilang pati. Because when you have physical, madali ang inventory, madali ang audit, etc. You can do pre-audit and post-audit. A lot of stuff. No? So, uh, uh, another, another suggestion, let's say, if you make an inventory, all government offices renting with the private sector, and dami dami yan. I can name so many, no? Uh, bakit nang ganyan? Because merong mga rebates na kumikita mila official, and they continue that system. How about, because government offices continue getting appropriations every year. You can program 20 year, 30 year. A portion, 1%, 5% of their allocation, set it aside as payment for, let's say, 
let them build buildings. All, all offices build buildings, then rent out 80%, occupy only 20%. So each government offices can be earning from the 80% rented out to the private sector. And all it takes is a credit from government banks with assured repayments because lock in yung mga appropriations eh. It can set aside. So there are many ways, imaginative, innovative ways to pursue uh, which can benefit a lot of uh, sectors, uh, basic sectors, uh, uh, business, private sector, business, etc. And as you push this, you can uh, continue with your crusade and advocacy on bringing up the the our main North Star objective, the 1899 Malolos. So something like that. I mean, uh, uh, come up with something so, because that's how you gain traction as well. Eh? Uh, people will will identify when they see something uh, uh, something something solid, something uh, uh, transparent, something like that. I mean, a lot of things. No? I, I can I can name uh, many other ways instances. No? So it's just a a shift in in perspective and approaches on how to do uh, run or in terms of governance, etc. Uh, like like I mean to the transport sector, uh, uh, we're we're introducing innovative schemes. Dito, no? na we're integrating. Uh, some ideas that have been erased in history. Now, for instance, no, uh, siguro some other time na lang. <laughs> Pero ito, we're gaining traction. Pero Mike, oh, uh, as far as what yeah. you are explaining is concerned, I think uh, if we are in a parliamentary form of government, uh, that is uh, very easy because uh, anything which could not be uh, explained accordingly to the main tenant purposes during the question hour, and once the trust rating goes down, he has nothing to uh, say something or do something except to resign if the trust rating is uh, negative. So uh, I think uh, all of, all of uh, what you mentioned could be resolved through the system in the uh, question hour of the parliament. Because you cannot deny. You could be asked in public, and once your rating goes down, so if the people does not trust you anymore, what is the purpose of saying? Am I right? No. That what what I'm just uh, what what I'm just uh, proposing. We can have so many measures, little programs here and there, sectoral, etc which can form part of the overall uh, trust strategy. You know? But uh, this will generate the little traction and co you consolidate you consolidate your, your gains on a sector-by-sector -sector basis because each sector has specific particular concerns. You can tie this up to your overall advocacy and agenda. Something like that. So like Kasani, as a farmer. It's a farmer. Uh, Dami rin concerns dyan. Uh, uh, pero, ibang discussion na yan. Pero, we're doing things the wrong way. Eh. Hindi, ano eh. So, ito, we, you can enlighten people because makikita nila something different and yet it will generate the results. Okay. And yet, you're not, you're not, uh, defying or violating certain government uh, dictates or rules or even yung mga, like for instance, itong current situation pandemic, IATF, sunod ka pa rin sa health protocols. Pero you didn't uh, sacrifice yung economic, ano mo, etc. So, hindi pwedeng, ito yung sinasabi kong you aim for your North Star but in that achieving that direction, you go left and right, humps and bumps, sig and sag, 
diba? a little detour, two step forward, one step backward, etc. I mean, that's that's the dynamics of life. Eh. It's no straight line. There's no linear, ano, uh, linear or Euclidean thinking. Euclid, uh, diba? he was known for making ax- axioms and postulates which do not hold true in reality. Like for instance, sabi niya, no parallel lines meet. I mean, at one glance, hindi nga magmi-meet ang parallel lines, pero may maybe a thousand miles apart from each other. But when we march forward to North Pole or South Pole, we end up in the same but, point. Uh, so uh, don't nagmi-meet. <laughs> Something like that. So ibig sabihin, linear there was, thinking, there was proof to that, that parallel logical, is about perpendicular. <laughs> Because light follows a curvature. That's physics. Uh, ibig sabihin, even buhay, di ba? Hindi siya diretso yung archibo. Ma, 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 up and down eh. So, ibig sabihin, we could not think along logical linear thinking. Merong lateral din dyan. Merong ano. So, even in approaching, even in politics or in uh, uh, sectoral, ano, in movements, it follows the same principles. Yun na sa akin, uh, apply certain principles that are found, that are actually universal principles found in nature. No? And and apply them in the social dimension. DNA. So uh, that's how you gain traction because you, you achieve step by step. Ano? At the same time, you're focused on a specific, may particularity ka, well, it does not... Uh, uh, deprive you from your long-term uh, general direction. Kasi yung general long-term eh. direction, that, that, uh, that uh, explicitly and implicitly expresses your standpoint. After all, directions are more important than distance. Direction, where you're headed. Distance is your accomplishment, your track record, your past. Einstein say, your information, knowledge, Ernie Baron may say knowledge is power, but Einstein says knowledge is past information. What is more inspiring and you know, is the imagination. And imagination is thinking something creative, innovative, thinking into the beyond, into the future. Siguro yun yung that will inspire people eh, and come up with specific. So that's where you, you gain traction. Step by step, sector by sector, come up with specific con- analysis, specific, based on specific conditions as well. So, problem solving on the net. Ang dami yan. Ako, dami pong. All it takes is a, 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 a change of mindset and how you address. Ang dami. You can cite every, you know, uh, and, and, and every step you can generate uh, returns, generate productivity. Ang, ang ako dito, very particular ako on productivity and uh, I, I also have background economics like uh, same as Professor Hill. Uh, and and I, I discovered a lot of uh, uh, ideas that have been erased in history, like ideas of Alexander Hamilton, for instance. The credit principles are powerful. No? When Henry Ford applied it, uh, sabi ni Henry Ford, he wanted to sell cars to his workers, but his workers could not afford it. You know what he did? He increased their wages from $1 to $5, not because he was generous. He was greedy. Pinan mo yung metaphor, pinan mo paradox. Nung lumaki na yung para, sweldo niya, he computed it based on four or five weeks, days a week, times four weeks a month, times 12 months, times three years, five weeks. He got a big amount, which was more than enough to approach a bank. Bank, pautangin mo nga itong workers ko. I'll offer you four ways to save on cost. One, don't worry about credit an investigation, don't worry about guarantees, co guarantor don't worry about credit and collection. Magininingil ka, bahay-bahay, tuwing bibigay ko sa folder ng bawat isa. Salary deduction lang niya eh. Don't worry about retail, the wholesale lang niya. So, happy ang banks, happy ang workers, happy siya because he was... Ito, nabura ito sa kasaysayan because the oligarchs at the time didn't want to empower the little guys. Anyway, there, there's more to it. So, all it takes just what I'm saying, let's not think linearly. Euclidean. Euclidean thinking is linear, logical. Uh, at times, things can, uh, there's at times more sense when you think beyond logic. Okay, thank you. Uh, the same way, parang si, di ba, si Deng Xiaoping, yung Chinese uh, 
uh, he, he he built on the ancient Tianxia philosophy no T I A N X I A no sa kanya diametrically opposed di magkaintindihan socialism and capitalism sabi niya can we set that aside are differences that can take many generations generations to resolve can we focus on something that we can build on commonality something that we can uh, that's doable and something that we can uh, derive mutual benefits in lang so that's how we'll approach even politics otherwise we'll end up squabbling with each other fighting each other uh, not gaining ano so uh, and and oligarchs will love that because we're being pitted against each other eh. so that's how hindi tayo maka generate ng traction and groundswell kung gano puro debate puro ano walang ano so there there should be we should balance the the general with the specific no the universal direction with the particular I mean, the balancing of the the contradictions and metaphors of life and ano, whatever now. So, so yun, yun lang sa akin. So it's not a hard and fast rule, but what is certain, alam mo yung direction mo, but flexible ka in how you. Ano, okay. Guess, so thanks, thanks a lot, Mr. Speaker. Before uh, Professor Hill uh, make his reaction, I would like to recognize Albasyon Ligaspi to join us uh, in the Zoom. Whatever suggestion you may, or what can you uh, say as far as the discussion is concerned. However, as, as far after this, I would like to remind the Professor Hill that if ever possible, we have to focus on the issue of uh, disseminating information in barangay, what are the topics and what are the means to do in order to reach all these people uh, for the purpose of uh, reaching the goal of uh, the parliamentary uh, system or the issue of parliamentary system. Okay, Professor Hill. Where is uh, Salvacion Legaspi, you said? Yes, uh, he was uh, he was uh, shown in the he 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 is a kind of glance at, but kaya pinapasa ko para malaman natin kung ano ang kanyang masabi sa pinag-usapan. I think uh, Mr. Domingo is raising his hand right now. Okay, Can you recognize him. Sunny, you have the floor. Mr. Domingo, you have the floor. Please unmute. Kasane? I think he has uh, an answer now. Maybe he is not. He is, I said he is in another Zoom, so he must be in the oh, other Zoom. Probably. Okay, so um, as a reaction to um, what has been discussed here, uh the first uh there is this uh process of uh going forward no? yeah, in terms of what we're doing whether you call it a linear uh, progression or not it's just a process of going to the next step the main uh, reason why we have come together today is to discuss how to reach out uh, in terms of the parliamentary message to 43,000 barangays which are all throughout the country. Now, these other comments of other people regarding uh, sectoral parliament or whatever, the uh, present goal right now is just to increase awareness of the parliamentary system. And in coalition building, the more detailed you want to be, a particular issue on which you will coalesce in, the more divided you will be. In the same manner that the oligarch groups has frustrated the move of the president, he really made an effort, De Gaulle made an effort to move the country to a federal parliamentary system. But because of the combo proposal, the uh, oligarchs, including his own cabinet, the group led by Sonny Dominguez, uh, at the time uh, Pernia was, Pernia was included, as well as this guy who is now the central bank governor, I call him Mr. Uh, what do they call that? The the particular uh, character in uh, Lord of the Rings, this mogul. 
he looked like him, this guy uh, Ben Jokto. They all ganged up on the president and they uh, said, uh, hindi pwede yung federal kasi ang dami-daming layer of uh, bureaucracy dyan. And then uh, I don't know whether it was a sabotage effort or what, this Pepe Dede thing of this guy, uh, Bakla partner of Moka Uson, uh, virtually killed that proposal. Now, the reason why it failed is that uh, parliamentary was good and federal was objectionable. So the uh, enemies of the effort to shift ganged out uh, and focused on the federal problem. So right now, what I am suggesting is that uh, we just focus on the parliamentary shift. What the form of that parliament is, let the parliament uh, effort first succeed and then we discuss the form. If right now we say sectoral and others say geographical, then we divide ourselves. Let's uh, not do that. Let us not divide ourselves. Let's just gather people and support in terms of awareness of what they can, they can understand about parliament and the general sense of why are we proposing parliament? Essentially, we are proposing it as a cure to be relevant to the present uh, uh, concern of the people of Talamakna, Nakakarindina, and corruption. We are proposing a parliamentary setup because of the quality of a parliament having a question hour. We're in the head of government uh, faces his uh, peers in the parliament, members of parliament, questioning him of how he is governing the country. Let's just agree on that proposal. Let's agree in that approach. Let's da, let us make that message rich, the barangays. Tabamak na ang ang corruption. Nakakarindi na ang corruption. Itong ating presidential system ay bogok bulok. Kahit sinong presidente ang lagay mo dyan, bulok bogok din ang nangyayari. Nagkapalit-palitan lang ang mga oligarko sa pagpapasasa sa kayamanan ng bayan. That simple message, that simple point of unity is how we can coalesce and how we can bring a lot of people to support the shift to parliamentary system. If we right now try to say, hey, I will only support the parliament system if it is a sectoral parliament. Oh, and the other people would say, I will only support the parliamentary shift if it is a geographic parliament representation. We are dividing ourselves. Let's avoid that division. Right now, let's just agree that we want a parliamentary shift with a question hour so that we can solve this problem of talamak na corruption, nakakarinding corruption, na kahit sinong presidente ilagay mo dyan, kakainin ang sistema. Kasi ang presidential system ay bugok, bulok. At kahit na sino pang malakas ng political will, itong uh, dating mayor, akala natin astig, magaling. Hindi pwedeng kainin ang sistema. Kinain pa rin. Sinayduran ng kanyang uh, sariling uh, tao, si Bongo. Ang unang sinabi ni Bongo being Senate-elect, hindi na pwede tayong magpalit kasi hindi na pwede next term na lang. Kasi bayad niya yun sa mga oligarko ang sumaporta sa kanya. Fridor. Trinidor ni Bongo ang uh, gustong gawin ni Presidente. Eh kasi itong si Presidente naman ay naging dependent sa ekoloji ng like Bongo. Virtually after the Senate election, tinakover ni Bongo ang ipatakbo ng uh, Presidency. Kaya yan. Away sila ni Asara at saka mga anak ni Digong. Kasi pati sila, hindi pwedeng pumasok ng bigla-biglaan dyan sa palasyo. Kontrolado ni Bigong, ni, ni Bongo, at saka ni Hanulet. Yung mga nangyayaring yan, at totoo yan. It's factual. It is uh, witnessed by people whom I'm in contact with around the Davao uh, <clears throat> group of uh, Sara. It's also prevalent in the field that this uh, group of Salvador Medialdea and Bongo are so afraid of a possible uh, Sara presidency. Kasi yari sila. Exposed sila ni Sara. Ang pinakamalaking kasalanan ni Bongo, nag-raise ng pondo para daw kay Sara ng urakot, pero para sa kanya pala. E yan ang pinakagabit ni Sara. At si Bongo rin ang pinakakursonado yung ikulong ni, ni Buxingero Pacquiao. Okay? So we have to just unite on a simple message. Let's go to the parliamentary system as a cure to this uh, Larsino's grand uh, corruption that is happening in a rotten presidential system where the oligarch lords it over. They uh, support a presidential candidate and put cabinet members around him when he gets elected. They buy off the uh, justices to justify any corrupt uh, thing that they do. Okay, 
and they have a lot of legislative uh, puppets that are easily produced in most of these resource-rich district areas of our country, like the nickel-producing areas of Surigao. They buy off the senators because the senators cannot, cannot campaign without oligarchic support. So we have an oligarch-controlled system. And most of all, they have controlled a mercenary Kobelec Smartmatic Syndicate that produces candidates of their liking and only of their liking. Maybe they would allow some uh, senators from the military to come in like Gringo, Trajanes, so that there will be no restiveness in the military. But they all have methods of controlling us and controlling the rotten presidential system, which lays the golden egg of the rent-seeking profit uh, ends. So let us just have a simple thing on which to unify on and which to coalesce on and which all people can support. A parliamentary setup that will have a parliamentary question hour that will destroy and nip larcenous plans of corruption right at the back, right at the bud, because the prime minister has to meet parliament every week to explain what he is doing. Not like right now, we have a Senate investigation, pero para ano pa? Yung mga baka na kuha na ng cutter rusters, yung pera ando na sa bulsa na mga inchik. Tapos ngayon tayo ay uh, mag-iimbestiga. That is the only thing that uh, can uh, attract more people to support a coalition of uh, making the effort of parliamentary shift. A simple statement. We are supporting a parliamentary shift because of the parliamentary question hour, which were put sunlight on this maggot of corruption that is in our rotten presidential system. For instance, I have said, the only answer to systemic corruption is systemic vigilance, which is afforded by a parliamentary question hour in parliamentary governance. So that is what I am suggesting to proceed forward. Now, what are the things that can be done? You must have a translator group, a group of student assistants who can translate all our messaging to the local dialects, to the major dialects that are like Ilongo, Pampango, Maguindanawon, Tausug, Visayan, Ilongo, Kasibuano, Waray, Bicolano, uh, Kapampangan, uh, Pangalatok, Pangasinan, and Ilocan. Then we spread these things in one-liners, 164 characters, SMSs, that can be circulated through independent cell networks and also independent uh, email uh, networks and also our Facebook contacts. That is why I was discussing earlier a lima-lima method of expansion, a pyramid-like expansion of lima dito, lima doon. Bawat isa sa atin, mag-recruit ng lima, mag-contact ng lima, mag-convince ng lima na dapat tayo ay mag-shift sa parlamento. And this idea came from uh, Willy Villarama, the process of lima-lima expansion, lima-lima expansion in another campaign that he was involved in. But he said that it would be very practical if we can do it. So this idea of also forming a political party to do it, that's also good. We can just uh, put together and meld together the formation of a party idea and the Lima Lima concept can be a recruitment process for mass membership in our party. It's just a common simple agenda, the shift of our country to a parliamentary system because our rotten presidential system has oppressed the people, not given a voice to the people, but given an instrument for the oligarch to dominate our country. That is the main thing that we have to do. And the reason for the session today is to be able to determine a way to be able to communicate the simple message to the widespread people of the barangays in 43,000 barangays. And we would like to have ideas to do that. Ideas that came up is that Mr. Bagolis just suggested a party formation. Uh, Mr. Domingo suggested coalition with existing parties. I have uh, been working on a translating group of uh, student assistants in the Philippines. I've been also working on people who would be able to do TikTok and MEMS to be able to spread this idea in images that can be easily translated to the cell phone or to the networks that we have, like our email network or our Facebook friends network. That is the process that we have to go through. And that is what we are open to. And we will entertain all suggestions that would help us achieve the purpose of building up awareness so that the 555 process of expansion can be done. And if um, 
And Mr. Willie Villarama, Congressman Villarama, is willing to expand on that. Mr. Speaker, I would like you to recognize him to expand on the 555 expansion, which he has already practiced in other campaigns. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Kong Villarama. Uh, uh, Kasani, after uh, Kong Villarama, you will be the next. Kong Villarama. Okay, Kong Villarama is not around. So, okay, uh, Kasani, you have the floor. Please unmute. Can you please unmute? Hello? Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. You have no audio. Hello. Okay. It's very soft audio, very low. Increase your volume, please. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now. Increase I your volume. I can hear you, but very faint. It's very faint. You must increase your volume. Mahina, mahina ka. Takal lakasan mo. The control was in charge of the unmuting. Hindi marinig. Hello, hello. Hindi marinig. Ha? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Pakibunot mo muna ang headphone mo, tapos ibalik. Hello? Yan, okay. Hello, yeah. Kanina okay. kasi ang ang control, ang may control ng mute or unmute kaya hindi ako makapasok. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, okay, so paki-kwan na yung control. Okay, na uh, agree ako doon sa lahat ng sinabi ni Prof. Hill. Let's go forward. Uh, let's go five by five. And may I suggest that uh, we must raise uh, some amount of money to put into a one-page newspaper the five points or six points that um, Profil was telling about the uh, the uh, the problem with the uh, presidential uh, government, and now uh, uh, put in the whereas whereas of all those points that needs to be presented, and come up with a mad resolution. Uh, that can be adopted by any barangay council or that can be maybe if you can feed into my uh, my uh, my email uh, what should be uh, presented to a for example uh, a councillor that I want to sponsor uh, the parliamentary form of government uh, with the council this coming October or with any group. So it should be a general resolution where uh, they can just uh, copy and uh, sign that resolution and send it to a control, to a control the uh, uh, system whereby nobody can hijack it. Meaning it should be sent to a certain uh, email address or whatever it is para makuha natin lahat yung mga resolution. So, to repeat, one page newspaper, nandun yung proposed resolution, above it is the problem of the presidential system of government, and then an instruction to, to, for them to uh, sign, uh, copy the resolution, sign, and send to our secretariat, if we have a secretariat already, that has an exclusive uh, uh, email address. Uh, yun lang, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Okay, I noted the uh, Kasani, and um, I doubt that uh, if we have to go to the, the publication of the newspaper, we need huge amount of money. You know why? Uh, one half uh, page of the newspaper uh, it takes uh, maybe fifty thousand or hundred thousand. Pero sa ngayon now we have the GMN uh, network. Uh, radio broadcasting. Uh, pwede natin yan magamit and every day we could uh, announce whatever uh, intents uh, we want to and disseminate to the public because we have uh, 
our own uh, network. We have our own uh, uh, radio program. And if, if, if we are uh, lucky, uh, maybe by next week, we might have our own uh, uh, similar to YouTube. And we have also the similar to TikTok and similar to Facebook. So by doing that, no one could uh, uh, erase our uh, post because we own that. So I do hope by next week we could uh, uh, achieve all those things and uh, we could uh, minimize our expenses. Uh, I recognize Queen Salvation uh, Ligaspi. Uh, please come in. Please unmute and uh, join unmute. us. Okay. Yes. Hi, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Um, of course, kaya po ako talaga very interested ako dahil uh, ang Mahalikan, uh, Mahalikan TV Network, kayo sa Malulus Constitution, you are working on a change of our system. Yan talaga ang kailangan, ang call for today is the change of our system po sa ating governance. Kasi the Philippines is running an anarchy, chaos government. Baka kung gusto nyo maitanong kayo sa akin, uh, siguro mas maganda para I will just answer you based on the question that you will raise me. Otherwise, uh, gusto kong makashare talaga sa pagbabago ng ating bayan. Okay, Professor Hill. Reaction. Well, I think uh, we should open the floor to everybody who would like to ask questions sa kay uh, Salvacion, uh, Queen Salvacion. So let us proceed with that. Okay, the first question I want to ask is, uh, we are talking here about uh, disseminating information to barangay. So what is your opinion related to this other than the 555 mentioned by uh, Paul okay. Bicarama? Maganda man yan dahil talaga ang... Problema kasi, kagaya nung may sinasabi si President Duterte, o dito ko ba yun narinig, na the government needs overhaul. So, meaning to say, talagang it will start at the barangay level. Na ang Republic Act 716, so, 1991, kailangan mapromulgate po yan na magkaroon yang rule of creation o barangay unit. Kasi hindi pa na-establish talaga ang barangay unit. Kasi ang unit po ay isang teritoryo. Pag nakita yung rule of creation of barangay unit, dito tayo makapag-umpisa. Then we can modify after na identify natin ang barangay unit. Then we can work, move on immediately on a district. So, ang distrito naman, there may be, sabihin na lang natin, there are 7, 12 regions. Philippines has 13 regions. The 12 na lang, yung 12 region can have a prime minister perhaps, or the entire Philippines, we can, we can elect a prime minister. Sa ganitong pamagi, sa ganitong paraan, mas madali ang ating transition government because we have founded the rule of creation of barangay unit. So as soon as you have this, mas madali po uh, aakyat from the barangay, aakyat yan to the higher level in a district form. And we can even nationalize it into, again, one national prime minister. But still, like in Switzerland, for instance, uh, it's, it's uh, state, canton ang tawag sa... Switzerland, they call their state as canton, or we can call it region. So in each canton, there is a president. So as far as we are a sovereign nation, we can also have a prime minister in each district. So yun na ngayon ang mag-control sa local, uh, uh, sa, sa government, sovereign government tribunal with territorial rights of jurisdiction. Nawala kasi ang teritoryo eh. Kaya yung malulus constitution is a dead issue. Pact of Biak na ba to? 
na wala kasi ang Treaty of Peace 1898. Iyon po doon tayo tututok sa Peace Treaty 1898. So, yung Peace Treaty 1898 ay meron na yung resolution and entry judgment sa Supreme Court na nirelinquish na nila ang civil case 3957P sa private property rights, patrimony of the nation sa akin po. Kaya ito naman willing kong ipamigay sa mga taong gusto na tutulong sa pagbabago sa ating bansa. Yun ang aking gustong ipamahayag, ishare sa inyo kung tanggapin nyo. Kung hindi naman, patuloy naman itong ginawa ko. Kaya lang sayang kasi ang ganda ng mga taong nandito dahil gusto nila ang pagbabago ng gobyerno. Na nagustuhan ko rin ang sinasabi na si Presidente ay hindi talaga niya gampanan at yang si Bongo is only, uh, mahirap nang magsalita, Bongo is a Chinese, a CCP. So, they are running a CCP show. So, federal. And we should not be ruled by a federal if we are a sovereign nation like what the President is saying. So sabihin lang na Presidente na Philippines is a sovereign nation only kung nandyan ang United Nations hahabol sa kanya. Pero pag hindi nahahabol sa kanya, ang United Nations, the next day magbabago na naman siya. Doon na naman siya sa CCP, federal, na kanyang ini-empower. Mali man yun. Hindi mo makuha ang kanyang Duterte has no stable mind. No stable words. Hindi natin ma bisaya dilit nato magunitan ang iyang pulong as a president. He should guide the country. Walang hindi natin mawakan ang kanyang salita e. At dapat sa presidente kung hindi ma nagawa ni Pinoy ang transition government transformation yan ang platform niya. Whereby, si Duterte naman, ang kanyang platform is uh, sa drug, drug rehabilitation. Drug. Okay. So, anong nangyari? Nawala, nandyan pa din ang drug, nadagdagan pa ng coronavirus. So, Duterte's government is leading the nation to a de facto depopulized country, which Philippines should should be the mark of all nations na tayo ngayon will lead the rest of the nation globally. Kasi tayo po ang naghawak ng OCT 01-4, global yan. Hindi lang Pilipinas ang ating Treaty of Peace Article 1 of the 1935 Constitution. Hindi lang po Pilipinas yan, buong mundo. Kaya ngayon nagkaroon ng One World Order, New World Order. Yung New World Order is an organization from United Nations na ang ating yaman sa bilateral mines field, sila ang naghawak ang World Bank. Pero hindi embargo na yan eh. Na-redeem na natin yan eh. Gagamitin natin ang redemption natin. Pag nakuha natin under Article 18, Section 26, Divine Wealth, redeem na po yan. Pwede na natin gamitin. We do not have to have emergency state of emergency calamity fund because of coronavirus. Curse yan eh. Coronavirus is a curse. We have to stop God's anger. We have to um, follow the rule. Mr. Speaker, of can you Enrico Mariales? Because uh, I think he has a question for uh, Ms. Uh, Salvation. Yes, I will oh, accept oh. question. Ano po yun, sir? Uh, Mr. Mariales. Good morning pala, Sir Hill. Yeah, Go good morning. Uh, Mr. Morioles, then you are recognized. You have a question uh, from... Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker. So Mr. Mr. Speaker. Salvador. Yes, okay. You are recognized. Point of order. Okay. I, I think, I think uh, uh, what we were trying to, to fully discuss is uh, how to create an awareness campaign for the parliamentary shift uh, among the different barangays.
Correct. And I think I think uh, the discourse of uh, Professor Salvacion uh, could have gone out of hand already in that sense. Uh, in my opinion, uh, to create an effective awareness campaign, first, as I said a few an hour ago, first, let us organize. And second, let us raise funds. Uh, yun lang ang gusto kong iparating, uh, Mr. Speaker, as a point of order. Maraming salamat po. Okay. So that's why uh, I mentioned earlier, uh, sasabi ni Kasani na we have to use the uh, uh, newspaper. So sa ngayon, we are running the GMN Network Radio Broadcasting. So dahil ito ay sa atin ay medyo maka minus minus tayo dito compare sa newspaper ang gamitin natin. And we have our YouTube, we have Facebook, we have our tweets. So kung uh, dissemination lang ang pag-usapan, pwede natin magamit ito at less expense. Ngunit ang problema natin ay kung sino ang mga participant really willing to disseminate all this information. Kasi yung nangyari, nakikita ako, kung minsan mag post ako, mataas na yung lima o anim ang mag-share. Uh, so what I want is, if, let's say for example, sa isang post, ay kung may mga 50 na mag-share, yan ay ang 50 naman may mag-share na sampo, ang sampo naman may mag-share na lima. So that is very easy to disseminate. Ang problema sa ating uh, mga Pilipino, uh, gusto lang natin magpaka- uh, uh, easy go lucky lang. But uh, when it comes to uh, helping one another, nahirap tayo. At kuminsan um, pa, magsabi pa tayo na wala yan. So, hindi pa na simulan, hindi pa na itanim, laya na. Mr. Speaker, can okay. I recognize? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I would like to recognize the effort of uh, Queen Salvation Legaspi. She has a group that she has been uh, proselytizing on regarding certain things about changing the system of government in our country. And I think uh, she can help us disseminate this awareness about our initial effort to uh, shift uh, parliamentary governance. And I think uh, we can have uh, separate sessions outside of our current session right now with uh, Ms. Legaspi and we can talk about how we can cooperate between our group and her group so that we can spread the word forward and reach out to all the other people who are also following uh, the efforts of uh, Ms. Legaspi. And I think it will be a win situation for both us and Ms. Legaspi to cooperate with each other. That's all, Mr. Speaker. Uh, welcome. And uh, any uh, inquiry or uh, question? So... Ms. Legaspi, I think, is raising her hand. Mr. Speaker, you can recognize her, uh, please. Mr. Legaspi, you recognize. No, I do appreciate what uh, Sir Hill Ramos is saying. I do accept it, and it is very important and imperative because we cannot be a government without jurisdiction. A government is jurisdiction, and once we have jurisdiction, money is no longer a problem. We don't have to raise funds because the funds are ready. This is all what I can say, and thank you very much, Sir Hale. Yes, I don't want to mix eggs and orange so we can have a separate uh, agenda, session, whatever. Let me know. I'm always here, ready for all of you and for the rest of the nation. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Continue thank your you program, please. Thank I am you. listening. Thank you, and uh, uh, Professor Hill will keep in touch with you, and you keep in touch also with him. Yes, we will. I will. Thank you. Uh, how about uh, um, Engineer Perdigon? Yeah, we have uh, uh, people Hale. like Marcos Caraeg and yes. Perdigon and J.H., and now Mr. Soleil uh, Ledesma has... Uh, so say Lesma still heard us. Maybe she has uh, he has some comments now to share with us as well. So please uh, recognize them one by one, Mr. Speaker. Okay. Whoever is ready, like for example, here Pentagon, Mr. Maka, Mr. Karai, or Mr. Mr. Pentagon is muted, so I think it's ready to speak. Okay. Uh, here Pentagon, you are recognized. 
<clears throat> Thank you. Good morning. All throughout, I've been listening to Dr. Ramos, and I totally agree with the points raised. I am for sectoral parliamentary system, but uh, I will uh, set aside that uh, qualification for the moment for the sake of greater uh, unity in our ranks. Uh, I would uh, acknowledge the need for geographical uh, um, representation, but with much reservation because that has always been the vehicle of political dynasties in controlling our politics and economy. So I agree, sir. Let's focus on parliamentary system with the star uh, feature, the, uh, the question hour. I think that will um, spark the interest of our people because we are so disgusted with the ongoing corruption amidst the pandemic. Wala na silang pinatawad. Crisis na nga, maraming namamatay, pero corruption pa rin ang kanilang ginagawa. Let's go for it, parliamentary with uh, with uh, question hour. Agree, agree po ako dun, sir. Kaya, kaya nung buhay pa si Nini Pimentel during our uh, meeting at Manila Club, yan ang sabi ko sa kanya. Uh, we are agreeable with the system of parliamentary. However, sa ngayon, gumawa na kayo ng batas na halimbawa dyan sa, isang, sa, sa buong bansa, walang isa sinuman. Pagsimula ngayon, na bumili ng mahigit sa limang ektarya na lupain. Kasi kung mag ganito tayo, mag-parliamentary o federal, yan ang mga oligarko dito sa Manila, pumunta ng Mindanao at bumili ng mga 200 hectares o 500 hectares, taniman nila kung ano-ano man. Magutom ka kung luson kung ganyan ang gagawin. So, pero naman na, na wala lang si Nini, hindi naman nagawa. So, because wala na siya, so let's focus on uh, the interest of the general public. Na yung maiwasan natin ang uh, mga problema sooner or later doon sa mga apo natin, apo ng apo natin. Kasi tayo matanda na pero we are trying our best to reform the system. So, uh, Mr. Morioles, you want to say something? You're raising your hand? Okay. Uh, JJ or uh, Engineer Lidisma? If you want to say something, just unmute. Uh, just, but, just, just, uh, just only pointed out that I was agree with uh, all you have been said, especially on the parliamentary systems. But uh, regarding on the thing that we are spreading or spreading the, the, the information about the parliamentary system, the problem is most well, itself in barangay, um, they are not even the barangay captain or the members of the barangay are sometimes they are not so aware about it. So yun know, ang medyo, ano, medyo nagiging, parang yung parang nagiging blockage to. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can I be recognized? Yun yun, so, so, mismo yung barangay, barangay captain, eh, they are not aware of it. So that, that, I'm expecting kind that's supposed to be na sila mismo din, no? if they are agree or sila din mismo. Kasi sila yung most influential in barangay. Well, well, regarding on 5 by 5 I agree with that. Okay, Professor Hill. Well, I think the uh, first, the barangay captains have to be informed that the barangay governance system is uh, a mini parliament. Because in the barangay system, the powers of the executive are fused with the legislative uh, uh, powers. Ang kanilang process of election, they, they elect a group as a party. No? So kung sino ang pinakamaraming uh, members na mapunta sa barangay council, yun ang mag elect Yung may majority, yun ang mag elect ng kapitan. Hmm. Tapos yung kapitan... Will now assign within the uh, barangay council yung mga 
mga lupang tigapagpaganap or rather uh, committees that will enforce the law in the barangay which is uh, meron siyang uh, meron siyang uh, parang lupon about justice meron siyang uh, mga about uh, other problems uh, committee. committee committee tapos yung mga council mismo are also executive so the fusion of executive and legislative power is a particular feature of a parliament hindi katakataka yun kasi ang author ng barangay code or local government code ay si Nene Pimentel who has always been uh, uh, in favor of a parliament system in the country. Ang problema lang ng PDP laban kasi pinaghalo nila yung federalization at saka yung uh, uh, parliamentary system sa kanilang pagbenta ng kanilang ideya. Kaya ngayon, kinukorek natin iyon at tayo ngayon ay nagpo-focus lamang sa parliamentary shift. Yung federal system sa kana pag-usapan yun. But I think it will come to that because we will have to recognize ethnolingual uh, groupings in the country, which is also uh, something that is recognized by our 1899 constitution. Our 1899 constitution was a parliamentary government. And it has very amorphous lines in terms of uh, provinces because they were following ethnolinguist uh, ethnolingual divisions in the country. But our uh, provincial uh, departments at the time were huge areas, not like the gerrymandered provinces that we have right now. Except for the province of Pangasinan, most of the provinces right now in the Philippines have been gerrymandered to suit their political dynastic influences. Maybe we have to correct that later under a parliamentary setup. Maybe we have to unite all of these uh, ethnolingual groups into provinces again or into federal uh, unions if we decide to go federal. But first, we have to go into a parliamentary setup. And the uh, powerful thing is always to go with the flavor of the month. The flavor of the month right now are elections. People are partisans right now. May mga para kay Isko, may mga para kay Pacquiao ay mga para kay Duterte, o kung si Bongo man ay kandidato niya o si Sara, na merong mga Duterte diehards, merong mga kay Lacson at kay Soto, kahit napapano, meron pa rin silang following. So we have to ride into the table of the month. Let us follow this uh, predilection of people to go into the sabong mentality of picking up the winners of the possible presidential election in 2022, if ever we have elections. But one thing we can do right now is to play on the reality that somehow these presidential candidates are just what I call holier than thou candidacies. Anong ibig sabihin ng holier than thou candidacies? They are supporting the rotten presidential system that we have. They're saying that they're being holy people, being good people, mabait na mga tao, hindi corrupt and we will for we will have uh, people who are uh, uh, also not corrupt in our governance we will correct the rottenness and we will be able to clean up this rotten presidential system <coughs> however the reality is for several decades since 1946 <clears throat> we have been victims of a scandal after a scandal of corruption cases ever since from the time I was five years old, I was already uh, conscious of that golden arenola problem of the El Pidio Terino. I was, uh, again, treated to that uh, Garcia problem of uh, the court of Garcia. Why is it a problem? My uh, people are just taking care of themselves. And so then we have this uh, Makapagal problem where we have all of this Stonehill uh, scandal wherein uh, most of the people in uh, Makapagal's cabinet were involved in the Stonehill uh, bribery blue book, which included Makapagal himself with those torn pages in the blue book of uh, Stonehill. Then we have Marcos. Of course, uh, we had uh, the election of Marcos in 69, but he defeated the... Uh, uh, Ostenia, and then we have all of those uh, problems saying that Mac uh, Marcos was saying he stopped smuggling, but he was in cahoots with the uh, Ilocano mafia, tobacco mafia, producing those Union Blue Seal cigarettes, which was uh, 
uh, spread all throughout the nation, and many other scandals that was uh, really relatively small compared to the way corruption developed and evolved into grand larceny at the present time. So we see now uh, if uh, we have those scandals under uh, uh, later on uh, under Korea Kino, the Council of Trent, which dominated our finances and uh, did not uh, do anything to uh, really correct the uh, oligarchy control of the country, but uh, came back with the uh, non-Marcos oligarchy, which uh, recontrolled the nation and produced all of those scandals, which just swept under the rug. And then we have the Subasta process of uh, federal uh, of FDR, Fed, uh, President Fidel Ramos, where the uh, funds uh, raised uh, supposedly for modernization of uh, uh, the armed forces by selling Fort Bonifacio just disappeared and was just uh, put back into the general uh, budget so that it cannot be traced anymore. That's the biggest scandal under uh, Fidel Ramos and all of those uh, um, closing of the uh, Bata nuclear pl uh, uh, plant, which allowed him to create a lot of large electric uh, producers and uh, the takeover of the private groups into the electric uh, industry or energy industry of the country. Then we have this uh, time of Estrada where, uh, you know, he is more concerned about uh, drinking sprees in uh, uh, Malacanang and all the people around him were corrupt and running a scot free with all those things. Then we have the coup d'etat of GMA, which was uh, made uh, his uh, presidential term in the time of Estrada, the unexpired term of Estrada, very tenuous. And so he allowed, uh, she allowed a lot of uh, military people to go away scot free with corruption just so she would not be subjected to a coup d'etat similar to what she did to Emma. And this continued on uh, with the Hello Garcia thing, you know, and the I'm sorry thing, which we know about, wherein uh, she cheated uh, uh, Fernando Poe. You know, 1998 was a time when Estrada swept the elections. And it was uh, because there was clean, uh, there was a relatively clean registry. Fernando Poe, who was more popular than Estrada, should have swept uh, a GMA away in the 2004 elections. But what was the difference? There were five to six million padded voters in the Commonwealth, which was used to defeat Fernando Poe Jr. So this is the reality of our politics. And what came after uh, uh, Gloria? Mr. Uh, Dingbaksha, no, no, you know, you know, Yakino, which uh, an election, which a process were in the uh, endo continued and all this oligarchic. Uh, uh, groups uh, made more money and there was no uh, trickle down effect on the people which are supposed to happen. And now we have uh, Duterte with a promise of a tunay na pagbabago which never happened. And now he's saying uh, because of the Senate hearing, talaga yung corruption nandiyan yan, hindi maaalis yan. So what is common to all of these experiences? A presidential rotten system. Where in kahit na gaano kalakas ang political will ng papasok, gaano kabait ang papasok, nakukurap din. They are swallowed by the corrupt system. Empirical studies have shown that a parliamentary system is a better instrument of governance. And so we are advocating a shift to it. This is non-ideological. This is just scientific empirical evidence that we are trying to push. We are not advocating a particular ideology. In fact, I have heard that if we go into a parliamentary uh, system, even the communists, even the NDF, the NPA, will stop the rebellion and join in a process of real parliamentary contest for power in a parliamentary system, which, was, which is what happened to the communist parties of Europe. They have been legitimized. They have now different names. They are Greenpeace Party. They are something like party. They are Socialist Party, but they were former communists. And this is the support that uh, Joe Masison is re relying on and getting more uh, support from the uh, European government and uh, sustaining his exile in uh, the dinner. But they are willing to implement their case, comprehensive agreement on social and economic reforms in a parliamentary system. And so a shift to the parliamentary system can possibly solve this uh, lingering 50-year-old uh, communist insurgency. Okay, 
So there are many advantages to this, and this is non-ideological. We are welcome to any ideology, communist, socialist, liberal, capitalist. We are not confiscating any properties of the private people. We are just telling them, go shit and do not control our public utilities and do, don't do touch them anymore. Give it back to the people. Those are part of the things that we are supporting. Because when a real parliament controls uh, the system, where people's voices are heard, public utilities cannot be controlled anymore by these private sectors that are the cronies of a president. They are the ones sustaining uh, this process of preventing a shift from the rotten presidential system because they do not want to surrender the control of these public utilities which they use to milk our people in the trillions of pesos every year. So this is part of it. But these are all non-ideological, it's just common sense. What is a natural monopoly should be controlled by the public and it should not be controlled by private the sector. The private sector can go and invest their money in technological industries which will be supported by government and let them compete in the world. Hindi yung tamad na burgis na kukuha lang ng pera sa rent-seeking opportunities. Magtrabaho sila, they be creative, compete with the technological advances of South Korea, of Taiwan, now India, as well as the new technological capabilities of China. And uh, they should earn their keep and not just uh, rely on the regulatory rent-seeking franchise to be able to rate trillions of pesos every year. That is the part that we will do as a post agenda of the parliamentary shift. But we are just right now creating an alliance of people, a group of people that will support a parliamentary shift. And we will now contest this uh, campaign that is happening, the presidential campaign, and expose all of these presidential candidacies that are just holier than thou candidacies without any full expression of system change. It was before uh, stated by this guy Soto, who was the vice president to to Lapton, uh, and he said, "Itong simula, magsisimula na tayo mag uh, pagbabago, may system change tayo." Pero nung biglang inintroduce siya ng system change, ang sinabi niya, hindi. And we will just fix the existing system. Mahirap na magpunta sa parliament. Kasi school vocal nga itong si Soto eh. Kaya we have to tell him, you better uh, get your act together. We should tell our presidential candidacies, get your act together. Talk about system change or else your candidacy is just a holier than thou candidacy that is hoodwinking the people and telling them that they will really have changed, but in fact, we are just substituting the existing cronies, raping the nation with your own cronies when you become president, because you will be swallowed up by the system. Mr. Speaker, that's all I have to say right now. Thank you, Professor Hill. And uh, a reaction from uh, anybody here? Enrique Marioles, just raising his hand. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Marioles, you are recognized. Mr. Speaker. Yes. In this uh, conceptual discussion on shifting to a parliamentary form of government, uh, the case of Malaysia always runs through my mind. Malaysia is a federal parliamentary form of government. Pero tingnan mo ang ginawa ng past prime minister. He also stole billions of uh, ringgits from the Malaysian coffers. So, kahit sa parliamentary form of government, a massive uh, degree of corruption can still happen. Dito sa Pilipinas, ang inaalala ko ay itong problema natin sa pangungurakot ay hindi lang ito systemic. Since hindi ito systemic, a system change in uh, governance may not solve the problem. Sa tingin ko kasi, sa basa ko ng, ng problema, ang corruption sa Pilipinas ay naging, naging behavioral na, naging, uh, naging uh, part na ng kultura ng tao. Alam mo,
What happened? Internet ne Mario Lisetta ang uh, may problema. Yeah, he disappeared. I can't hear him anymore. But anyway, while he is uh, right now not able to speak uh, because he has to fix his uh, problem, what I'm saying is that we are not saying that the uh, shift to uh, parliament will instantly cure our corruption He's problem. Amid. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Mariolis. Uh, are you back now? Or oh, he disappeared altogether? Okay, you're back. Now. Okay, Mr. Mayoles, you're back. Please unmute and uh, continue. Okay, unmute. Unmute, unmute. May tumawag sa akin. Okay, yung inaalala ko nga yung kaso ng Malaysia. Kasi kahit na federal parliamentary form of government ang Malaysia, ang, ang laki rin ang ninakaw ng previous uh, prime minister, si Natib. Ngayon, dito rin sa Pilipinas, inaalala ko rin ito kasi... Ma, uh, baka, baka sakali na ang problema natin ay hindi hindi lang systemic. So a systemic change in governance will not uh, affect the the leadership and the degree of corruption in the government. Ang inaalala ko ay baka ang problema natin ay naging behavioral na o cultural. Itong, ini, itong iniisip ko, ito ay iniisip ko sa kadahilanan doon sa probinsya namin sa Masbate, kahit na sinasabi ng mga tao doon na mas mabuti pa ang pumatay ng tao kaysa magnakaw. Pero ang mga magnanakaw na hindi nahuhuli o hindi nabibilanggo ay wawala na naman siya. Ay pumapatay rin. <laughs> Bilib ang mga tao sa mga nagnanakaw na hindi nahuhuli. Yan ang problema. Uh, kaya yung mga maliliit na bata na nakikita na oh bilib pala dito tayo kay ano nardong putik isang kriminal pero hindi nahuli pero sinasamba ng mga tao doon din sa amin ang mga politiko ng malakas mangurakot na alam ng taong bayan na nangungurakot pero hindi nakukulong ay parang sinasamba so ang mindset ng mga tao ay iba. Kaya ang sinasabi ko, baka ang problema natin ay hindi systemic. So a shift to parliamentary system is not the uh, solution. Kasi tingnan mo ang nangyari sa Malaysia. Federal, parliamentary, pero grabe ang ninakaw ni Prime Minister natin. Ngayon, yun din ang iniisip ko. Yun, ang, yun ay isang reservation ko dito sa, sa, sa parliamentary system na ang problema might not be even systemic already or a, uh, may not be even systemic anymore, kundi baka cultural na, behavioral na. Ang mindset ng tao ay mahusay ang magnanakaw na hindi nahuhuli. Yun ang aking uh, uh, reservation uh, sa conceptual discussion na to. Mr. Morioles, kaya yan uh, palagi ni Professor Hill uh, pinaulit-ulit. Na once we shift to parliamentary system, we have to truly observe the question hour. Dahil uh, 1973, parliamentary rin yun ang ano ni President Marcos. Oh, oh. Ngunit uh, dahil wala siyang question hour, nakaligtaan yan. Oh, At hindi rin oh. na-disseminate ang information niya sa mga tao kaya mahirap nila unawain. Then when it comes to nangyari doon sa Malaysia or Indonesia. Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. So nagkapasyal din ako dyan na uh, mga unang panahon na uh, every two months na dyan kami. So nakikita ako na ang failure din ng parliamentary system na doon is hindi rin nila organize yung question hour na yan. Mm -hmm. So doon sa kanila, pangalawa, may uh, sistema sila doon na pag sinabi bawal, bawal. Parang tayo rin. Na hindi pwede gawin yan kung bawal. So ang mga Malaysiano ay uh, obedient din. So nasumasunod din sila kagaya ng Pilipino. Na pag majority ang uh, nag-decide, wala na question to ang mga minority. Sige, go ahead. So tama yan sinabi mo na systemic na nga. Na kinaugalian ng Pilipino yan. But... Uh, Uh, what I am suggesting is once uh, we adopt the parliamentary system government, 
priority natin ang question hour. Kahit anong paraan, kailangan ma, ma, ma implement ang question hour. By doing that, there is a transparency as to whether or not the sitting government official is favorable to the a majority of the people, or they are only advantageous for themselves. Professor okay. Can I answer? I think uh, Mr. Falayo Ledesma wants to talk. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, uh, I, was, I, was, uh, I was young. I was 44 years old. <laughs> so what I mean to say, you know, on the parliamentary system, di ba meron naman tayong opposition to question every government transaction so even though we have a kind of behavioral system on corruption but every transaction that the government made it will be questioned by the opposition so merong in front or merong harapang uh, uh, check and balance so even though na they, they try na mangupit magnakaw but it will be it will be masasa lang siya sa question and answer to to answer it and then, and then um, pwede namang gawin ng government is to answer it na I mean to say nagkakaroon ng transparency so kung, kung ipinag-aalala ni sir ano pa pangalan ni sir na lalo pang kung maging kurap like in Malaysia I think in Malaysia medyo baka nagkaroon lang ng kasabwatan doon or hindi masyado oh. question ng opposition ayun ha kunin ko dito ka Okay, go ahead. That's my point, sir. There is an opposition to question every government transaction. So I think there is a there is a huge transparency on the parliamentary system. That's, okay, that's my so uh, Ian, ang mga bagay na yan is uh, sooner or later that could be uh, looked into. But uh, our priority is how and when to shift to parliamentary system and how we could submit information to the public, particularly in the level of barangay, considering that some barangay officials uh, does not agreeable to the parliamentary system because they could be easily caught. However, by doing the 555 uh, system, we don't have to be able to We think that they are honest. Otherwise, when we approach natin, ibalik natin sa kanila, things will be continued. Corruption pa rin yan. Dahil nasanayin na sila. Pero, uh, yan ang pag-isipan natin. Na let's focus. Kaya sabi ko nina kay Professor Hill, dahil sabi niya sa akin gabi, let's focus on uh, information dissemination to the barangay level. So, sa mga nakikinig, kung ano pa ang mga bagay-bagay na masuggest ninyo dyan na parating natin sa barangay na hindi tayo mahihirapan, ay nabanggit ko na dito sa GMN Network uh, Radio Broadcasting, open kayo dito magbigay uh, ng komento ninyo sa amin. So, we have to disseminate that information uh, nationwide. Kasi abot po sa worldwide, dahil sa YouTube, may worldwide. So that is the only means to minimize uh, expenses. Dahil kung sa diaryo tayo, sabi ko nga, eh, nagsubok kami dyan, eh, one half page, eh, 50,000. So isang business lang yun. Ang tanong, sino nakabasa? Yung nakakabasa lang, yung mga kalaban din. Pero yung gusto natin ipa, ibigyan ng information na yan, hindi sila makabasa, lalo ko doon sila sa probinsya, sa barangay, eh, walang newspaper doon. Pero sa radio, sa TV, sa YouTube, sa Twitch, kahit doon ka sa sulok-sulokan ng uh, barangay, kung may internet ka lang doon, pwede mo ma-renig ang inasabi natin, ang minabanggit natin. Now, in the reaction from uh, the group, uh, uh, Engineer Perdigon, do uh, you recognize? Yes, thank you. Just an addendum, yung tungkol kay Prime Minister Najib Razak ng Malaysia, siya po ay nakulong ng dalaw labing dalawang taon. Mm. Na, na, na oh. ano po siya, put on trial and the sentence on 12 years. And that shows that their system against corruption works. Yung po. So, uh, Queen Salvation, any additional comment or 
whatsoever. Ma'am Salvation, may we hear from you? Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't know if uh, Congressman Willie Villarama has uh, joined us, but he's the one who um, talked about a five 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 expansion process. We're in just in a short period of maybe a few months before the uh, 2022 elections. We can reach about uh, 60 million people. We are consensus in encouraging this uh, process of recruitment on a five by five basis. So if we could start with a few that we have now present in our session. And this uh, few people, I think there are about maybe 12 or 15 of us here and begin to expand on a five by five basis. This will be, uh, we will have a lot of people by the next session uh, uh, on uh, Saturday next week and so on and so forth. We keep on checking how many people have you talked to, how many people have you sent uh, a special message to. The only thing we can translate is a simple message that I have written in English, which is this, this is the answer to systemic corruption is systemic vigilance, which uh, is present in a parliamentary question hour. So if we can translate that to Tagalog and different uh, dialects and spread it all over and let people know about that message, then we will have uh, more and more people aware of what we are about that the parliamentary system is just an exotic, it's not just an exotic uh, system of governance that we are espousing because it is beautiful and empirical study shows it works, but <coughs> it is. Uh, a uh, uh, may I uh, interrupt uh, Professor uh, Hill? If you have the chance to make, uh, uh, we could say uh, advertisement relative to uh, shadow government or uh, by, by adopting the 1810 constitution. I think much better because every day we have program in the network. So we could uh, uh, insert that there. So by doing that, uh, people would learn what is uh, 1899 constitution, what is a shadow government. So if you could make some uh, sort of uh, like uh, advertisement, let's say for example, uh, one minute, uh, uh, sort of advertisement about the 1889 Constitution, Seattle government, I think much better because we could insert that in our program every day. So a lot of people, because uh, some of our, in our program, sometimes there are thousands of uh, people uh, viewing. So they are more than five already. So if those uh, people could understood what we are talking about, we could easily disseminate that information nationwide. What do you think? Yes, I will do that. And I would uh, present those things to you. I am in the process of organizing a group of uh, people who can work with us and create memes and TikToks that can uh, be like advertis advertising lines that can be published or uh, shown in the broadcast of uh, the uh, network. That, uh, so we can do that. I will, I will inform you next week because uh, we have uh, the proposal of uh, oh, it's the same uh, system like uh, TikTok. But uh, the, the, we, we are the one controlling it. So I think it uh, must be there because uh, sometimes uh, Facebook is uh, uh, saying that we are talking nonsense. Uh, Facebook, is, uh, uh, YouTube is also saying, doing the same. TikTok is also doing the same. However, in our case, if we could establish that uh, uh, group, because now uh, they say that uh, next week uh, we have to uh, YouTube is doing the same, TikTok is also doing the same. However, in our case, if we could establish. Okay, uh, Queen uh, Salvation uh, Liga SP, you are recognized. Ma'am Liga SP. Please unmute and uh, you are recognized now. I don't know, it's not uh, muting. Can you unmute her, uh, Mel? Mel, can you please unmute uh, 
Miss Liga Spring. Queen Salvation Liga Spring. She's you not able to mind. unmute. Maybe she's not hearing us right now. Oh, yours. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Miss Legaspi. Yes, hello. Yes. yes can you can hear, hear me? You. Loud yes. and clear. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, now I'm called. Uh, Yes, okay, now, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Can I have the question again? I'd like to answer a question. What question is that? Uh, here, uh, my, the, the, I, I will raise the question that, uh, uh someone this morning uh, says that we have to disseminate information through since i paper. am called um so i have been not... listening to you folks and i'd like to know the subject oh the subject here is uh financial that uh, yes i know by, the subject by... is financial and the finance if we have to use newspaper... the financial can be resolved if we have to uh, if we have to use the newspaper that is too costly so what is your opinion relative to that your personal opinion can you hear me is this in regards to the to the media yeah okay with regards to media uh we should be able to control our media in the in the media in the first place because the npc is already been redeemed recovered we can control actually the npc sir okay yeah i have all the documents As I told we you, already, we, we I, already made the adverse uh, claim on NPC. NPC is a corporate entity. As I told you earlier, uh, or as, as I mentioned earlier, we have our own network within we are the one controlling it. Not controlled by Facebook, not controlled by YouTube, not controlled by any We other. can change, we can actually utilize anything what you want to use we yes but what yes. we are but what i am asking is uh like for example uh, by doing this uh uh thing similar to youtube similar to facebook that costs a lot of money for us yeah we can create we are we, we just, already we created. just need we someone who can create we already created and we want to launch so maybe if we cannot launch by monday maybe uh by wednesday we could have launched it so what i was uh, thinking is uh, few amount of money such as uh, for paying the electricity for paying the internet then we can expand for uh, uh, uh yeah. what we call this uh putting up some uh, uh what we call antenna so that is a little bit uh, costly for us so what i am asking is what uh, can you contribute to that particular problem i have i have my radio program network registered no we have but uh, we have our own network registered in our name no okay, one as far as that, that is concerned, let's one, talk private the on that. Uh, on the cash account, I have no problem. We have no problem on that, but we have to discuss this on a separate issues. Okay, thank you very much. So just uh, send us your uh, 
uh, private uh, contact such as uh, your Facebook account or uh, uh, cell phone number. So we could easily contact you if uh, we have some uh, problem on that. Actually, I am not saying that we are uh, really kneeling to say to to uh, to ask help. What we are, what I will are provide you. Is, I will what? provide you my cell phone number and okay. also my Facebook. Okay, you could put it. Uh, if not, uh, I will give you my uh, number. Do you have a pen? Just write your uh, uh, contact number in the chat. In the, here in the, chat, um, in the chat. Just just answer me. Uh, just send it to my messenger. Uh, because I don't have pen in my hand right now. So your messenger is, uh, the name is uh, Queen Salvation Ligaspi? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me the number. Answer me. Uh, just send it to uh, because I don't have this in my hand right now. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I have it now. 872 I repeat. Yes, sir. 872 Give me the number. Just send me. 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 Just Zero. Six zero. I may repeat. Zero nine two one. Eight seven two. Eight eight six zero. Eight eight six zero. Do you have a uh, a? Uh, is this a uh, a PM or a globe number, sir? Uh, smart. Do you have a globe? Is this a globe number? Uh, uh, smart. My globe number is uh, zero nine one five. Is this a globe? Smart. Smart. Is this, uh, a PM or a globe number, sir? Uh, smart. Do you have a globe? Is this a globe number? Uh, smart. My globe number is 0915. Is this a globe? Yes. 0915. Uh, is this a globe number? Uh, smart. My globe number is 0915. Yes. 0915 Why don't you exchange on chat? Exchange numbers on chat so it won't disturb the overall discussions. Yes, I think it's better because it's a little bit um mahina ang aking uh site siguro. What's that a number mo? Okay, that's I think that is better. Thank you. I will do that. I think that is better. So Nanjana again. Thank you. I will do that. I think that is better. And then subset uh, number ko, so you can contact me. Actually, to para masaka yung kaalaman, ang nasabi ko nila yung GMN, we are the one controlling it. Thank you. I will do that. I think that is better. And then subset ang number ko, so you can contact me. So, so ito, para masaka yung kaalaman, ang nasabi ko nila yung GMN, we are the one controlling it. Uh, well, Professor Hill. Yes, uh, what do you want me to say? What, do you, what is your question? No, uh, as far as the, the dissemination of information is concerned to the barangay level, so any additional, because uh, Ma'am Salvation, sabi niya everything uh, is uh, possible, pero hindi ko maintindihan kung uh, what are those possibilities dahil medyo malawak ang itinutukoy niya. So what I want is specific, specific uh, topic to reach the barangay level, and they could easily understood the main intent and purposes of the 
parliamentary system of government. As I, as I have summarized earlier, we have to make an effort to first translate our English. No, I already uh, I already posted that, but in Tagalog and Cebuano. Uh, but uh, there was no reaction. So in my own observation, uh, if we could uh, summarize it, like for example, uh, I was thinking that if we have to advertise in our program daily in the GMA network, I think that is one uh, uh, one thing that we could easily uh, disseminate those information. Let's say, for example, uh, for every program, we have to uh, show the one-minute uh, uh, advertisement of shadow government. Because uh, we are not, uh, we no one could control us. We are the one controlling it, so we could easily do it ourselves. Yes, uh, we have to uh, make an effort to... Uh... Okay, you recognize uh, Ms. Ligaspi? Okay, you are raising your hand. You are recognized. When Salvation Ligas pay, you are recognized. Please. Uh, okay, you are recognized. Uh, Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. Maliwanag na. I'm in. You can hear me. Okay. Maliwanag ka na. Okay. Now, I like the idea. The idea that Mr. Hill was discussing, I like that idea actually. Which idea? That that you will have a separate program that we can disseminate it so people can understand because because everything is already done. Uh, the structure, the system is all completed. Well, other than that, other than that, I am suggesting that uh, for every every day we have program in GMN. So we have to insert such. Uh, I don't know why, why you your comment. voice is just so. Uh, your audio. Masyadong mahina. Your audio is something. Uh, there is something wrong in your audio. Pakitanggal mo at saka balik ulit. I don't know why, why you, your voice is just so uh, vague. Your audio. Something wrong. I think so. Okay, ang ibig ko sabihin, marinig mo na ako. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I think so. Pamisan nga, patay mo ang audio mo. So, there is an echo that uh, happens. I don't know why. May what's happening? There's an echo. Wala dito sa amin. Sa kanya, kay Ms. Ligaspi, uh, kung minsan na-on niya yung audio niya, kung minsan na-off niya, ngayon naka-off ang kanyang audio. So, ngayon, nawala na siya. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, proceed with what they're saying. We have to set up the translation process. We have to set up uh, SMS that can be fit into 164 characters. We have to create the uh, political party that uh, has been suggested by uh, Mr. Marioles. We have to recruit on the basis of a five by five basis, which shows that within uh, 12 uh, generations of that recruitment, if that happens, we will be able to reach about uh, 60 million people, which is about the number of uh, voters in our population. So uh, these are the things that I am summarizing that are the points of action that all of us can do. It's a small, small step that moving forward. There is an echo somewhere, uh, Mr. Speaker. I don't know where the echo is happening. I don't know where that echo came from. Because wala dito sa amin. Anyway, that, that's the summary points that I said. These are the points of action we have to do. Within the week, we will have a meeting with uh, Sunny Domingo and uh, with uh, Mr. Marioles on these things that they were proposed on the political party organization. We will continue with drafting the SMSs. I have the uh, postings that I do in my uh, Facebook account. 
which can be shared by people who want to reach out to their friends and network. And that's how we can proceed with this because that's all that we can do right now. And okay. we have to take advantage of the election fever and uh, challenge the presidential candidates to start talking about a shift to parliament. And we have to tag the candidacies that are not uh, paying attention to the shift of, to parliament. I suggest uh, holier than thou candidacies saying that mas magaling sila, mas kaya nilang gawin yung uh, pag-ayos ng ating uh, pamamalakad sa pamahalaan kahit na hindi mag-system change. So that means to say they are uh, they are presenting themselves as a new driver to the rotten presidential system without changing the rotten presidential system, which will end up swallowing them. That is the message we have to give to the people, saying that these candidates who are not talking about system change are bullshit candidacies or bogus candidacies, candidacies that are not providing a solution, but just providing a new set of bonus to rob us in our uh, public offers in the next presidential term when they win the election. That's all they are. We have to expose them as such and they have to defend them. And we have to begin a coalition of candidacies and saying, hey, these presidential candidates are for the parliament system as opposed to those other presidential candidates who are not entertaining it. Let's junk them and just choose from within this presidential candidacies. Okay, that's that a kind is, of communication that we can do, Mr. Speaker. That is clear so to that's me. That's all I have to say right now. But uh, what I want to suggest is uh, as far as the content or uh, the content of that information is concerned, uh, let's uh, summarize it. Makes it long. And there is uh, a contrast between uh, the advantages, the advantage and disadvantage of parliamentary to presidential. So, tingin ko maliwanagan kaagad ang taong bayan Kasi kung pahabain natin, nakikita ko doon sa resolusyon natin, uh, mataas na yung anim na magbabasa kasi mahaba. So if we could minimize the context of uh, our uh, information, uh, na nakapokus lang sa uh, what are the advantages of parliamentary to presidential, so tingin ko mas maganda. Okay, uh, Mr. Morioles, you are recognized. You are raising your hand. Yeah. My concern lang ako, concern. Okay. Kung yung PDP laban ay nag-espouse ng parliamentary government, unang tanong, will this political party that uh, we, uh, we will form coalesce or establish a coalition with uh, PDP laban? And if PDP Laban is, uh, since PDP Laban is deciding to participate in this presidential election, will not that uh, run counter to the objective of our group? And third question is, PDP Laban is a big organization. It has money, pero it was not able to successfully sell the idea of a parliamentary shift to the people. Anong lessons learned na pwede natin pakinabangan sa experience ng PDP Laban? Yun lang po ang mga concerns or katanungan ko. Pero sa akin, pananaw, if we have to call us with uh, PDP Laban, dahil sila mismo ay hindi na magkaintindihan din. Mahirap din na hindi na nga sila magkaintindihan. Papasok pa tayo. Paano nila tayo maintindihan na sila mismo, grupo nila, hindi magkaintindihan? And, pero yung konsepto nila ng parliamentary form of government eh, na, uh, nag-fit in sa objective ng uh, uh, grupo natin. Okay, but you, we have to remember that Nene Pimentel and uh, Kuku Pimentel uh, is different from one another. Kasi si Nini Pimentel, he is doing things which is favorable to the parliamentary while Kuku sometimes object. So may mga sinasabi rin si Kuku one time that we have met and he said oh, we have to do this and that but uh, until now I haven't heard anything from him. So so essentially, without uh, now that uh, the old Pimentel is gone, wala na yung uh, parliamentary shift objective ng PDP Laban. 
and we do not need to form a coalition group with PDP Laban. I am, I am not saying that, but uh, probably the Poco Pimentel will have to consider it. However, uh, as I said earlier, uh, the principle of Nini and Nukoko differ from one another. So I don't know what will be the reaction of Nini of Poco Pimentel uh, for this, but uh, we will try uh, communicating if we could uh, have chance. Okay. Yan lang sabi ko nga doon sa, sa Senado kung minsan may problema rin doon kasi bago ka nila paketin, one time I was there, kasi siya mag, magpaswab ka muna. So ako ayaw ko magpaswab. So hindi ako makakiyat doon sa kanila. <laughs> Antigen lang naman yun? Antigen test? So, uh, Engineer Perdigon, you are raising your hand. The other floor is yours. Engineer Perdigon. Yes. Thank you. Hello. I suggest po that we hold that uh, um, prospect with Philip Bilaman in abeyance. Well, it's good that they have the germ of initiative for parliamentary system, but political expediency, I believe, prevents them. So we consider them later, not now. Yan po ang suggestion. Thank you. Professor Riel? Uh, what will we consider later, uh, Engineer Perdigon? Yung ating kung pakikipag-coalis, any form of uh, cooperation with them, not uh, today. No, yes, yes. We are, uh, well, to answer those three points raised by, uh, <clears throat> by uh, Mr. Mariales, uh, I'm saying that uh, we are not interested in any coalition right now with the PDP Laban because the PDP Laban has made a mistake of uh, doing a combo proposal of federal parliamentary. And the oligarchic group attacked them on the federal proposal. We are different from them because we are just espousing a parliamentary shift. We are not espousing a federal shift. We just say, parliament lang tayo kasi ang parliament ang sagot sa systemic corruption sa ating bansa through systemic vigilance which the question hour provides. And uh, the parliamentary question hour is independent of the federal structure. We can be a unitary structure, we can be a federal structure. The uh, question hour remains. As you know, a federal system is relatively something that is uh, for the structure of internal local governance. While a uh, parliamentary system is overall, regardless of whether you are a province in a unitary system or a federal state and a federal system, there will always be a question hour. So we are just uh, proposing that we do that. And uh, I agree with Engineer Perdigon. We don't care about this pollution. Let us clarify our messaging within the small means that we have all together, let us follow the suggestions of uh, Mr. Marioles, organize a party that will support this uh, advocacy, organize a way to raise uh, funds within the capability of what we have, support these little activities that we are doing. Uh, it is not a very ambitious campaign. We will just campaign based on what we can because we cannot be mercenaries that will be funded by particular oligarchic groups to achieve a particular agenda. If we have to pay for our freedom, we have to pay it ourselves, or else we will just be beholden to the people who will fund us. No, we have to be ingenious enough to be able to uh, raise our own logistics from our own resources so that we can pursue the messaging program that we have for our people independent of any uh, particular strings that oligarchs may put on us if they fund us. We can only cooperate with uh, particular candidacies that are supportive of a parliamentary setup, setup. And then perhaps we can talk about coalition with them once they make their positions explicit that they would like to support in their presidential campaign a shift to parliament as the first order of business of their presidential candidacy. And that is where we can talk real coalition with them and work with them together. 
if there are several presidential candidacies that do that, that does that, or that do that, then we will be able to identify them and say, hey, out of the six presidential candidacies, only two are supporting a, a shift to parliament. And so we will suggest to the people that limit your choice to this, two people or two candidacies, because the other four are all for supporting the continuance of a rotten presidential system. And that will be our political messaging as it goes in this uh, May 22 elections, if there are elections. If there are no elections, we continue with our advocacy. But even uh, extra constitutional methods can be used to shift to a, to a parliamentary system by the military uh, providing allegiance and the hibernating the existing uh, 1899, the Hori constitution, because that is a constitution that is a parliamentary setup anyway. Well, there are many ways that we can do this. We are not dependent on the elections. We have our own idea. A political party can exist like the Communist Party. We can be that party. We can be that kind of party. And uh, we don't care if there are elections in 2022 or not. We continue pursuing the effort to revive the, either revive the 1899 Constitution, which is a parliamentary setup, or create a parliamentary shift uh, independent uh, using other means other than the revival of the 1899 Constitution. We are open to that flexibility, although our first priority is to be able to use the 1899 Constitution to go back or to go back and revive the parliamentary system which our founding fathers have proposed for us as a nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Professor Hill. That's why uh, I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend that we have to uh, introduce the advantage of parliamentary to presidential and the disadvantage of parliamentary to presidential. While, and, and likewise, the advantage of presidential to parliamentary and that at the disadvantage as well. So by doing that, uh, initially through Facebook, even after this, we could do it so we will observe as to whether or not the people uh, heard what we are uh, talking about and let us uh, observe the reaction. Now, if we think that they don't care about it, so what are other things we have to do in order to uh, encourage them to be with us? Yes. Agree. So, Mamilma, uh, can you say something about it? Please unmute. Unmute mo. Mag unmute ka. Naka mute ka. Hindi ka marinig. Mag unmute ka muna. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning. Okay. okay na po? Okay na. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Especially to Queen Salvation Legaste. Uh, ay. Nawala ka. Uh, can I talk? Uh... Hello? Yes. Uh, can I talk? Marinig ka na. Sige, sige tuloy. Uh, marinig. O oh, sige po. Yung, yung how to approach the barangay to introduce uh, parliamentary form of government. Uh, the method I use with the armed forces of the Philippines to approach the cabinet members, uh, generals, uh, I beg your pardon. Approach the uh, military. Uh, oh, could be the the method could be adopted here in the barangay level. Uh, make a brochure um, in, uh, addressed to the barangay captain. Um, uh, let them recognize their situation today, especially. Hapless uh, people now because of the pandemic. 
and then uh, if they want a change from the presidential to parliamentary in order to resolve their problem, that is the parliamentary system of government. Kasi yung parliamentary system po ay pro-people. Mm. If you make a law, it, go, it is uh, discussed in the ministry and then sent to the prime minister for approval. You know? Unlike in comparison with, with the presidential form of government, uh, a bill is uh, discussed in the Congress and the Senate. Uh, it takes a long time because of the third uh, readings, first, second, third readings, and then to the Senate, and then to the President for approval or veto. You know, kaya much, much easier ang parliamentary form of the government to help the people. No, but um, uh, Mamilma, the question is how we could disseminate this information easily to the people? How? You mentioned earlier that we have to approach the soldier or the military and the barangay officials. But you have to remember that as far as uh, the barangay official is concerned, 100% I understood that they are not agreeable to that. Because if we agree, mawala ang kanilang kurakot. I want to there should be a what's that seminar in barangays hmm? and Reulet. Semin, there should be a seminar in barangays seminar so, in, so in, in, because in the first place you have to go to the barangay captain if you want to call for a group meeting Yes, yes, so, natin, please submit uh, the... I agree na five by five, lima lang ang hanapin mo, ang lima, maghanap naman ang lima. So by doing that, that is silent, oh, oh, silent oh, protest. We will address the, oh, submit okay, the... Okay, kung pumunta ka ng barangay, kaya sabihin mo, pwede na magamit ng barangay. Just to the barangay. Walang barangay, Captain, mag-allow sa'yo gamitin ng barangay. Or, the, atubukan the, ko na yan. The issue and the solution to. Hello. Pero doon sa doon sa 5 by 5 na uh, issue na yon then if we have to uh, provide information what are the advantages of parliamentary to presidential madali maunawa ang so, ganun, ganun nga po so for the time to Facebook mo na gamitin natin then uh, next week pag na na finalize na namin ang mga bagay-bagay lilipat tayo sa ibang bagay. Pero sa ngayon, ang pinakamadali gamitin ay Facebook. Doon natin mapakinggan kung ano reaksyon ng mga tao. Oh. 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 Gagawa lang po. No, explanation po. Okay. Yes, uh, you are recognized, Professor Hill. Well, uh, together with the five by five uh, process of uh, expanding our reach to all the people, in 12 layers of that, if we do that uh, diligently and our effort is really um, um, intense, we will reach about 60 million people in 12 layers of the five by five recruitment. You can, uh, you can easily compute that in your own way. Five by five, recruit another five by five in 12 layers of that. Five by five expansion, you will get 60 million people. Okay, can, can you, uh, Professor Hill, can you give that information to me? Uh, what are the context of those uh, uh, information we want to share to the public? Uh, so yeah, my, only, only, I am giving you only one thing that the statement that I said the answer to systemic corruption, systemic vigilance through a parliamentary question hour. Translate that into Tagalog, into Ilocano, and that is what we send to them. But another way to do that with the five by five expansion is to send to you five cell phone numbers that you have in your contact list. And then you talk to these five uh, owners of the cell phone numbers to send another five numbers each to Mr. Uh, Speaker, the Bienvenido Lorca's account. And uh, Mr. Speaker will collect all of these numbers that you're sending 
and collect them into a compilation of names and cell phone numbers, which we can send messages to, which are 164 characters each, that they can also disseminate regarding a parliamentary system. We will develop different messages, short messages to be able to spread all throughout the country, provocative messages that will enhance a response, that will evoke a response from the people. The first message I am saying is that systemic corruption can be answered by systemic vigilance through a parliamentary question hour system. Okay, now, translate understand. that into Ilocano, yeah. Tagalog, into anything, and that's uh, the first text that we send to them. Professor Hill, we send to them. The 164 character na yan, uh, please uh, send it to me. Yes, I will do that. And uh, that is what I will be sending to you. And that's the first messages that we will send to all our network. And then to follow up on this, the five people you send, you have to talk to them and say that they also do the same thing, send out five people to their own network and so on and so forth. We keep on doing that. And, uh, and then invite them to attend our uh, Friday, our Saturday uh, meeting here to be able to get more details about what we are talking about in terms of parliamentary shift. We continue this from now to the presidential election campaign, uh, presidential election period and date of May 2022. And that is one way that we can do this, both a process of communication and a process of collecting and accumulating cell phone numbers to be centered and given to Mr. Speaker, Mr. Bimbele Dolorke, when he will be providing his cell phone numbers in the chat area of this uh, session right now. That's all, Mr. Speaker, that I have to say. Thank you. And uh, anybody could uh, further share ideas? Marcos Karai, can you share your idea? Mr. Karaig, are you still here? Uh, kung uh, Milyarama, uh, may tanong kanina si Professor Hill, uh, baka nandyan ka na. Can you unmute please? I think he attended another session. So see, what I am thinking is uh, after this, I have to go to Lunita and I will be handling the, the mic of uh, the TDP. So I will also disseminate information related to what we are discussing this morning. So kung wala nang gaanong katanungan, maybe we could discuss further next Saturday, but uh, because now we have a uh, uh, assembly, a uh, peaceful assembly at uh, Lunita. If you allow me, then uh, I will have to go to Lunita earlier. And uh, the same thing I have to disseminate because uh, this will be live as well. Naka live ito sa gym in uh, network mamaya ang programa sa Lunita. So, I think, because... uh, Mr. Speaker, because you have that particular engagement, we can end our. Uh session uh, 30 minutes early so that you can go to Laneta. Yes. I have already texted the uh, the uh, first set of uh, SMS that we will send in the chat group and people can download it. I'm saying the answer to systemic corruption is systemic vigilance to the question hour of uh, a parliamentary setup. I think uh, I made a mistake. Uh, question house it means uh, question hour. Yeah. Uh, I think I will uh, send that to everyone. Okay. In the chat right now, and I will send it to uh, you, uh, everyone in the meeting, and I will check that uh, here. I'm sending that right now. It's systemic vigilance to the question hour of the. Uh, Okay, I'm sending it right now and it will be received by everybody and you can download it to your uh, own area. Corruption. Uh, yeah, well, I'm uh, the answer. 
I don't know whether whether I got it. I sent it to you right now. It's not complete. Uh, messenger, ko ba? Uh, to the chat group of this area. Okay. Uh, it is not complete, maybe. Sabi lang dito is cor corruption. Corruption is systemic vigilance through the question hour of a parliamentary setup. Yan lang mabasa ko. Okay, I will send it again. There was something that was cut in my. Ang sabi lang dito is corruption. Process. Corruption is systemic vigilance through the question hour of parliamentary setup. I sent it again. The answer to systemic corruption is systemic vigilance through the question hour of a parliamentary setup. I sent it again. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, uh, everybody can download that and send it to your network of cell numbers or uh, whatever. And then also talk to them about what we are talking about here so that it can be shared by everybody, you know, and spread all throughout. If we are able to do this, no matter how imperfectly, we can reach out a lot of people by a five by five expansion. And we can talk about this in the first hour of our meeting next Saturday and ask everybody if they made the effort to make those connections and whether what response are they getting from those that they are approaching and discussing this thing so that we can develop an FAQ system. They frequently ask questions and a way to answer these questions when they are asked of us in a particular way so that we can spread the message more clearly. So Mr. Speaker, it's up to you. You can, I think, cut the session earlier today because of your Magoneta engagement and we can meet again next week, next Saturday. Okay, so now, uh, Mr. Karaeg, do you want to say something? Uh, Engineer Perdigon, Queen Salvation, or Kong Villarama? I think so Kong Villarama is in another meeting. If no one uh, can say something, so I declared that the session is uh, adjourned. Okay, and, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Professor Hill, if you can, but I don't know if okay. uh, we have to stay we'll be all in contact. night. Because uh, what I uh, recommend to uh, Captain Ray is uh, if a lot of people will be coming to Lunita, we have to stay at Lunita overnight. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so uh, everything the decision, can be ended now. The session is adjourned and uh, bye. Okay, bye bye. Everybody, bye bye. Alerta Katipunan sa bundok ang tahanan ng mararanas ang hirap ng katawan. Walang punan, walang kulot, walang balil sa pagtulog. Inunan pa ay ang gulot, abang sa'yo kakakotakot. Alerta kaktipunan, hihihin. Ang kahirapan, pag-ibayuhin ang tapang kahit mamatay sa laban. Layo natin itaguyod, bayay itubusin at itampok. Hayon na tayo'y makipaghamok, abanseng katakot ako. Alerta!